Hi everyone, Digga here. Welcome back to the coin game. Oh, he's, uh, he's kind of facing the other way. That's not how he was looking earlier, I promise. I promise the main character was looking... <laughs> he was just like... I don't know why he got adjusted like that. Is it because the robots hit him? I don't know. How's it going, human? Thank you so much for the seven months of subbing. 
I'm sorry I trolled you earlier. <laughs> I hope you understand. I was just joking. <laughs> I'm a joke maker. Tell him, Jerry. I'm a joke maker. <laughs> anyway, we are back with the coin game. That's right, it has been quite a while since the last time we played, but there is a massive amount of island to explore, and it's going to be fantastic. That's right, we're going to hop right into that new... Well, gosh. That was like literally two weeks ago. <laughs> Let's go back to birthday mode. Welcome once again to Islandville, the 2012 speedwalking varsity champs. That's right, once we finish building the entire world, we have... Where do we go first? Let's see, I think we'll start off at home. We'll check in on Mom and Gary. I think it was Gary, right? That was the name of the duck. Gosh, what a... What a... <laughs> so much stuff happened last time. I mean, there was... <laughs> there's Ghost Dog, who uh, is mentioned in the title. There was uh, the motorcycle glitch. Not motorcycle. It was the lawnmower. That's right. There was just... Just absolute madness. All right. First off, here we are. Back at home. That's right. We're gonna go chicken on Mom and Gary. Home sweet home. It's a little smudged. Oh. Well, before that, I guess I have a text message. Uh, this is all the stuff from last time. I think it's all the same messages, actually. A bunch of news, bunch of information. Stuff about your smartwatch. Thank you for helping out. So I guess you get the new stuff every single time you do it. Alright, cool. Ah, home sweet home. How's it going, Ma? How's it going, Gary? How's it going? <laughs> oh, so you can do stuff like this. <laughs> Gary, no! Ajax, that's right. It is, uh, it is Gummy Mama. Gummy Mama. Last time, I, th I think I said, um, I thought that was like the grandma bot, but the whole premise of this is that like in in the regular mode, you're supposed to be coming home. Well, I say regular, but in the in survival mode, you're supposed to come home on time and stuff. Gary just immediately went to sleep. I gotta readjust. <laughs> <laughs> I have to readjust. Oh no! Oh no! Rubber banding sleeping duck! Oh no! Oh Gary! We're off to an amazing start! Let me just knee slide out of here. That's the coin game, everyone. If you weren't here last time, that is the, the level of insanity we get down to. <laughs> Mommy's little angel. That's right, Jags. She gets worried when we're out late, and uh, she also does forget to feed Gary. That is true. Uh, but don't worry. If stuff saved from last time, which it looks like it did because I have this can sitting here. If I open up the fridge again, I should have my frozen food. That's right. Here's the frozen food that I microwaved two weeks ago. And I guess while we're here, let's go ahead and start off with another nice hearty meal. Oh. Uh, it's a little stuck on there. Don't worry about it. A nice hearty meal. Alright. Let's do it. Let's microwave. Let's get it. Let's get it heated up. I gotta get my chicken fingers in. There we go. It's the exact positioning. Alright, let's drink some drink. I think I drank this one already two weeks ago. Gary, you cannot... You cannot have my food, Gary. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, the pizzas! <laughs> I forgot about the pizzas. Oh dear. Oh, and we have all that fuel. We have the rubber bands. We have the swan goose food, which is our main number one MVP item. You know, the, the things we could do with that. We could just jump all over this stuff. Yeah, three years later. It's, it's still there. Now notice the difference between- oh. Oh. Notice the difference between these meals. One of them nice, lovely, heated. The other one, frozen to a crisp. Let's eat the frozen one that's been sitting there after being reheated. 
Although it kind of looks like the the beans have spilled out. You know, the lima beans are kind of a, a little bit, a little messy. You know, no big deal. We should probably just take these to go. You know, it's a lovely morning. We're going to get hungry. It's going to be great. Thaw the frozen one with the cooked meal. I don't know if I could do that, Jags, but I could try. Let's try this. All right. I will put... <laughs> I will put it in the microwave. I will put the the other one on top of it. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. All right. Let's just uh, let's angle this properly. All right. Good. And we'll just leave it in there. And just pretend that it's thawing. Just it, it's gonna be totally fine. Everything is okay. All right. Well, I suppose we have our nice hearty breakfast cooking. We might as well go out in the town and get some stuff done. Now, where we left off last time was we were filling up the, um, wait. Where? <laughs> Hold on a second, where's my, <laughs> where's my golf cart? Oh no. Did I leave it down there? I don't. Okay, well, the golf cart is not here right now. I guess we're going to bike it. So if you're not familiar with the coin game, if you weren't here last time, this is a big open world sort of arcade, literally a, a, a game about arcade games. And you go into town, there's all sorts of stuff you can do. There's uh, the UFO, which we're going to check out this time. Uh, there's just, uh, it's a huge open world. And right now I'm playing the, the birthday mode, which means you have unlimited money and you, you know, don't have to deal with survival and stuff. That's right, Jags. We are finally, two weeks later, going to see the UFO. <laughs> it's all the way down here. We're going to go to the fairgrounds. We're going to go to the nature trails. And maybe, just maybe, if I could, if the map would let me zoom in. If I could just, okay, well, that, you know, that that's fine. We're, you can see it down there. It's UFO point. We are going to go and experience all of this magic. And I guess we'll be biking it. Technically, what you can do is you can click on a location in birthday mode and it will take you there literally in a, uh, a really, really nice limousine, and then it goes back to the future. I, I should show that off, I guess, again, but... Maybe if I reset the vehicle, it'll send the... Your golf cart has been towed to your home. Okay, cool. I forgot the golf cart was included in that deal. So last time, what we had to do before we finished was um, we had to get fuel for the tank, and I believe I already filled it up, but I will toss in another one, I suppose. If I can just, like, angle it properly. Yeah, there we go. We just snap right into it. Just, bam. Ready to go. It's gonna be great. Put my card in. And, okay, well. Apparently, the day is already over. <laughs> I literally just woke up. Went outside. Went inside. <laughs> cooked up a nice meal. And now it's already 6 p.m. <laughs> no problem. Let's get a move on, shall we? It's a little bumpy. You know what we should do first, actually? We should pay a visit to Ghost Dog. If you weren't here last time also, as titled... Oh, oh sorry, Mr. Robot. I, I, got, get out of the road, please! What happened last time was I may have caused a... Um, a lovely little puppy to become a ghost? All I did, listen, in my defense chat, all I did was I took the dog. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Let me finish that sentence. Let me finish that sentence. I took the dog for a walk. And, uh, you know, I, I brought it over. I, I figured I would move it out of the way so I could lawn mow her. And then as soon as I took it too far out, it vanished. And now it's kind of like... Here, let me show you. It's supposed to be over here. It's supposed to be in this house. It's supposed to be kind of like guarding... Or I think it was the other one, wasn't it? No, it was this one. So if we go inside, there's supposed to be a puppy in the backyard that comes out and like barks and then sits down. This is also where the lawnmower is. <gasps> Wait a minute! Wait, I just heard him! Is he back? Is Ghost Dog free? Ghost dog! Buddy! Pal! Is that you? Uh-oh. I think I'm being haunted. Oh no. 
<laughs> Ghost Dog, if you can hear me, please, don't just activate your sound. Make yourself known. I did just hear it again. Oh, there he is! Oh, Ghost Dog. See, I told you, Jags. It just took him two weeks, and now he's okay. Oh. Oh, let's not let's not do that. Wait, Ghost Dog, come back. I didn't. What's your real name? I don't remember what your real name was. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> Jax, please. I guess it's true what they say. Criminals always return to the scene of the crime. <laughs> oh gosh, see? I, I can't tell if the dog is happy or upset. So we're just gonna do a little da 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 A lot of looping around today. Is that a new dog? Maybe this is like, um, this is Beckles Jr. Jr. Okay, uh, I think what we should do is bring Ghost Dog to the bodega. Come along, little friend. Oh. He's like, planted in place. Come along. I got, I got a, I got a, I got a little something for you. We're gonna go on an adventure. Come on, Ghost Dog. Okay, well, it looks like we can't take Ghost Dog. Hmm. Not again? <laughs> don't... <laughs> I'm not gonna, like... You don't understand. Ghost Dog... Th this is not Ghost Dog. This is a new puppy. He seems to know his boundaries. That is, um... That's Maximilian. Maximilian McDougal. How's it going, Maximilian? Would you like to come on an adventure? I promise. I promise it'll be safe. Alright, well, let's go and see if we can visit uh, the other Ghost Dog. Oh gosh. Almost caused my property damage there. How dare you? How dare. Okay. So if you remember last time, chat, Ghost Dog, I brought I brought him over here and then he vanished and then got stuck in place. So let's see if uh, maybe maybe Ghost Dog actually is still here and that is a new one. See there that's where I left the um I left the light there to signify where Ghost Dog is summoned. So if we step forward and Ghost Dog appears, I think... I think we have our proof. Oh. Well. I guess Ghost Dog is, uh... That is the Ghost Dog then. He's back. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. It all worked out in the end. I'm not in trouble. <laughs> what would I get in trouble for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right, let's um I think we should at least bring Ghost Dog along for another adventure. Now that we know everything's going to be fine. Come along, buddy. You cannot inventory a dog. Just just to let you know straight up, there is no inventory screen that allows you to fit a uh, Dotson. How did I pick this up last time? I don't I think that there might have been like a fix. <laughs> like the Deb's like, wait a minute. You're not supposed to be able to take the dog with you. <laughs> Imagine the Deb's watching a Digga stream. Probably not, <laughs> but don't worry about it. Maybe it's those clips of human scent. Like they, they notice like, oh gosh, that's not how that works. Well, I have a plan for you. Just you wait, ghost dog. You'll see what's about to happen. Oh, there's a bus coming. That's That's all right. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I- here's my plan. Here's- here's my- oh gosh. Uh, I've, I've- I didn't mean to park on your bed. I'm sorry, Ghost Dog. I have a different plan. I have something in mind here. I think that if I can just like... Oh! He's wobbling a little bit. I think he might be in the pickup state? <laughs> I like that I was like, we're gonna do stuff this stream and I immediately just go and bother Ghost Dog again. Let me see if I can, um, let's see what happens here. Uh, you may notice that I parked on your bed, don't worry about that. Are you cool? Is your pathfinding alright with that? Can I, like, shine a light? Hello. How would you like to slide around? You can pet the dog. In the coin game, you can pet the dog, that's right. Is your- I, I think I might have destroyed your pathfinding. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about everything, Chad. It's gonna be good. He seems to be very, very firmly planted, so I, I think we're we're gonna have to get out of here. I was hoping that I could maybe get him into the golf cart. 
We could go on a nice little adventure together. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on a second. I saw a little bit of a wibble. I saw a tiny bit of a wobble. That's right. I think I can pick up Ghost Dog. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm totally cool. I'm totally cool with doing this all day. I can do this all day, Ghost Dog. I'm going to jump. I'm going to I'm gonna try to pick you up from above. And we're going to see what happens. Okay. Just, just a little bit more. <laughs> oh, no. Well, if they fix Ghost Dog, then they probably fix the, um... I don't remember if there was a patch for this, though. Let's see if we can break the lawnmower again. Oh, is it right-click? Yeah. So, when you have the lawnmower, it's just a normal controls, right? However, if you look down and you press your inventory key... Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you could just let go and run around. And I think this is the state, oh gosh, this is the state you get into when you're, um, when you can pick up Ghost Dog, maybe. Oh gosh, alright, yeah, so you, you kind of get the idea. I did this for a long time last time, I won't, like, spin around endlessly. Now, I did forget how to get out of here. Just clicking, alright, that's fine. Also, if you see the game, like, freeze up for a second, as a reminder, that is not your computer or your device. Wait, I just did it! Do not adjust your screen. That is indeed the uh, the game freaking out about stuff loading. Hmm. Is this the Elastigirl origin story? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, what was Par doing? I don't know. Just trying to mow the lawn and then it just got stuck. It's not yours. Let's just go on an adventure. Oh no. Oh, I forgot how much this spins. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. This is an arcade game about arcade games, I promise. It's also a real-life simulator. Oh, jeez. Oh, I think, actually, just tabbing out works. The spins are kind of involuntary. It's... It's, it's very strange, Jags. It's like, sometimes you spin around, sometimes you don't. There we go! Alright, let's go! Ghost Dog. I need a better song than that. Alright, we got Ghost Dog. <laughs> ghost Dog, Ghost Dog in the sky. Flying around. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> ghost Dog, Ghost Dog to the bodega. Ghost Dog, Ghost Dog. <laughs> oh, Ghost Dog. Let's go along on a nice journey, shall we? We are going to go over to the UFO, which is on the other side, so maybe maybe I shouldn't be going this way. However, if I were to let go of Ghost Dog now, I believe that everything we've worked for this entire game will have been for naught. So let's take Ghost Dog on an adventure and go down by the docks. You see, you're going to take the dots into the docks. It's going to be great. Ghost Dog? Ghost dog. Ghost dog? There's a certain point where if you walk too far, you do kind of uh, lose him. Oh, wait a minute. I heard a bark. Where could he be? Let's see if we can find the last known location of ghost dog himself. Could it be up on the hill? Up in the bushes? Uh, I don't really... I don't know where he'll spawn this time. I mean, last time... Don't mind the car. Last time it was right outside that one house. And it just kind of, like, phased into existence again. So... Oh, there he is! Alright. We have our new ghost dog. Here is ghost dog haunting the bodega. As you can see, from a distance, he's kind of... Kind of planking a little bit. I don't know if you can see that very well, Chad, but... There is indeed Ghost Dog right there. Oh, he did turn around. Check it out. Ghost Dog. Oh yeah. Ghost Dog and one ad billies. Yeehaw. I should leave my offering for Ghost Dog. The glow stick from last time will mark the location of our fun friend. All right. So this is our new Ghost Dog location. We'll use it as a checkpoint. <laughs> I 
can't believe the things I do to this game. Oh, man. I love it. We can actually kind of get pretty close. Let me just angle this a bit more. There he is. All right. So, as you can see, here is Ghost Dog. There goes Ghost Dog. Jump up again. Go back a little bit. There's Ghost Dog once more. A crazy specter. What's happening now? Go closer. He's a glow stick. I'm sorry, Ghost Dog. It has to be this way in order for us to do things in this game. It doesn't really, but it's funny. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's go ahead and, uh, gosh. You know, check your watch in the middle of the road. That's a smart move. Uh, we do need to do some other stuff in one Night Billies. You know, there's the mini golf. There's some more breaking we can do. But I did. Rude. I did promise UFO. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to the UFOs. We'll go down to the fairgrounds and we'll check out the nature trails. So let me just go ahead and run all the way back, leaving Ghost Dog to do whatever needs to be done. If anything, you could say that I've been giving Ghost Dog a, a little bit of freedom in life. Otherwise, he'd just be kind of running back and forth in the house. You know, nothing especially good going on. And then, now he has the opportunity to see all sorts of new people. It's genius. It's free real estate. All right. Just wait until Uncle Phil hears about this. It's like, I paid for your birthday and you did what? How many times do you have that ghost dog? You gotta stop, bud. You have to let go of thievery. Oh gosh, okay. Back on the road. So what we're gonna do... Hello there, car. Where are you going? Was that Egg Dog? I think that was Egg Dog. <laughs> that wasn't a robot. Wait a minute. All right, we're going to go down this way, going to go left, and then take a nice spin through the marshlands. Maybe steal a newspaper from last time. What are you doing here? What are you taking my papers for? <laughs> Gosh darn it, not again. This is supposed to be a mail route. <laughs> Ruffian, rapscallion, how you get back here? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! This is joyriding now. And much like in real life, you run into the mailbox, and then the joyride is over, and you've cost your parents thousands of dollars. Actually, I think mailboxes are like, what, 600, 800? I am not a mailbox expert, so please do not take that in any capacity as the truth. Jerry's Gas and Go? Oh yeah, this is where we got the... Oh. Yep. That's how you drive, you know, sometimes in life. You just... <laughs> I thought he was going to take us the whole way. <laughs> In the coin game, traffic laws need not apply. Don't worry. Alright. This is where we got our fuel. We're good to go for now. But I did want to see, actually real quick, if you can go inside. Maybe if there's like an extra store in here. You can! Cool! Ah. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Let's get some jelly bits. You want some chat? I'll give you some jelly bits too. Delicious gas station jelly. Ugh. Gah. Gas station jelly bits. Oh, we're just wrenching on some stuff over here, you know, listening to the race. What? Excuse me, Jerry. A jingle of jelly bean should procure me the finest of fuels. Ugh. De floor jellies. Place items on the mat to purchase them, then hit the button. I would like to purchase these jelly beans that I already paid for, please. Excuse me, Jerry, I don't think you quite understand. I would like to give you more fiscal goodness than that which you eat. Alright, I'm just gonna eat it here then. What do we need? We need, um, Jerry's Outback Jerky. Can I just steal this? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I wasn't going to. I was just curious. This is an outrage! Cheesy poofs! I love cheesy poofs. Well, I mean, that's a fair point. 
Now the batteries, I believe this would be for your flashlight that you would eventually run out. Or maybe your phone, uh, I don't know. Your smartwatch. Let's buy some anyway. I don't have any batteries yet. And that it, that little 88 is kind of ticking down still, so I'm kind of curious. Let's make a nice purchase. Lottos? You got some? I don't see any here. There's ice cold drinks and... Ooh, is that Jerry's gourmet sandwich made with love and good stuff? Well... I mean, how can I say no? Let me just eat this floor jerky real quick. The entire bag and everything. Now for these batteries, I'm kind of curious. If I right click on this, will it fill up the little meter in the bottom right? Or is that for the flashlight? Okay, so it does go up, I guess. I might as well get a couple of these while I'm here. I might have to get some more money from Uncle Phil soon, actually. Uncle Phil is the one who has paid for this entire event. Oh, hold on a second. There is lotto tickets. Well, wait a minute. Is that is that what we want to do, though? I mean, we have infinite money. We don't need to play the lottery. Hmm, I think we'll get a soda instead. What do you say, chat? Should we get a nice jolted cola? That's all they have on this entire island. A single jolted cola. For your fancies. Oh. Uh, no, I just, I wanted a sandwich. I, wait, hold on. I didn't mean to cause this pro Oh, gosh. Oh, Butterfingers. Oh, no. I mean, he's not looking, so if you don't tell chat, I won't. I'm just gonna get out of here and leave all this stuff on the floor. I'll be that person. You know, you know the, the person who's like, who goes into a Walmart to do some sort of meme for TikTok, and then they, they like splash things everywhere, and like, oh gosh, I gotta clean up after this person now. Ugh. Jeez. Alright, well, to, uh, to make up for my wrongdoings, I shall procure a gourmet tuna sandwich. Though, uh, how much tuna is actually in here, I will need to do a little bit of research, you know, I'm gonna have to send in some samples. This isn't Subway here. This is, this is, this has to be like premium high quality goodness. Not floor tuna from nowhere that's 0% tuna. That's a battery, but I'm, I'm it, it's fine, right? It can stay in there. The batteries can stay wherever they want. Okay, extra batteries, tuna and milk. The cheese doodles. Thank you, Jerry. I would like to go through the authorized personnel only, and I will make this possible with the magic of. Oh, I am low on money. With the magic of the Swan Goose food. That's right, our favorite item in the game that lets us jump wherever we want. I will use the Swan Goose food to get into the place where I'm not supposed to go because I want to be in an, an authorized location as a non authorized individual. That is what all people strive for, that is what I strive for. And I wish to go inside, go against the flow of this world. I want to become, I want to become a, uh, an authorized personnel without actually doing any work. Hello there, Jerry. How are you doing? Uh, you may be wondering why I'm back here. However, the answer is... See ya! <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay, well, I, I can't glitch through here apparently, so let's uh, let's make a run for it. I think Jerry's a little suspicious of us. I kind of want this little soda machine though. That's really cute. Yes, Jax, that is the American dream. <laughs> oh boy. Oh gosh. All right. Well, now that we've fueled up, we got some snacks. No scratches. We don't need them though. We're gonna go. Sorry, bus. We're gonna head down to the UFO. It's gonna be very hard to pass the fairgrounds, but I will do it. I will do it. So as we come to this nice intersection where the gangsters are, you know, don't worry about them. There's there's nothing. Oh gosh! <laughs> oh no! Everything's fine, chat. That's... Don't don't worry about it. Just a bunch of street racers. You know, no big deal. No no problemo, mon frere. <laughs> I, I think we have to turn left here. Wait, what is this? 
Oh, this is the other shop. Yeah, this is the one where I got the, um, the duck goose food from. I want that hat. That's a pretty nice hat. Those new shops aren't open yet. I don't think there's been an update for, uh, gosh, since I bought the game. <laughs> I got it pretty late, though, so who knows. We're gonna head down this way. We're going to kind of curve around. We're taking the scenic route. If you remember, actually, it's safer to drive on the left side so you, you don't get, like, run over. <laughs> if you remember, there's, like, a nice little stop here. Wait a minute. I didn't see fireworks last time. Hold the phone. Well, hello there, Frankie's quality fireworks. Monster rockets. Two-inch rockets of rapport. Recyclable. Woo! Come on over here buy something. You know you want to. Must be 18 to purchase unless paying of cash. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by Frankie's, man. Home with a kaboom. What can I get you? I will take one rocket, please. And I will play with it safely. I will play with it very safely. Everything will be totally fine. Don't you worry about it, Frankie. I'm, I'm, everything is under control. Everything is totally... I saw a police car there. Everything is totally under control. That's right. Only the smartest brain strats here on the Digga stream. Woo! Come on over here and buy something. You know you want to. <laughs> well, it did something. I don't know if that was, like, worth it, but smoke bombs? Hold on a second. I wanted to get the blue one. Wait a minute. Here you go. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Wow, there's actually a bunch of stuff here. Big Thunder? I do not have enough for this. I have exactly enough for this. <laughs> oh, hey, we have a friendly mole check-in from MK. Let's check real quick. Let's get a big old poppin'. How's it going? MK asks, can you dig it? Heck yeah, I can dig it, MK. We are back playing the coin game once again. I'm going to purchase the mortar single. The big thunder. I can dig the heck out of this. Are you ready? Are you ready for a massive explosion? Big thunder! Big, 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 big thunder. I should probably back up. Oh gosh. It seems to be... Oh! Hey, it's going that way. That's very pretty. Yes, Jags, I will I will take 10 as well. MK, please. <laughs> I had to do something temporary just in case something happened. <laughs> I'll figure it all out later. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry. The power will belong to all and Knuckles. MK will remember this. <laughs> MK will remember that you threw him over the ravine instead of Groot. <laughs> I need to get more money, but I mean, we're going to the... Oh, where'd that come from? Hmm. I need to get more money, but we are going to the UFO. I don't know if I need money to get in. <laughs> Tread carefully, MK. <laughs> Jax, please. The rush of power. Inconceivable. Oh, what is this? Is that Traveling Carnival? Coming soon to the Island Town Amusement Pier Park. Unsafe rides, rigged games, and deep fried cheesy poofs. Yeah, can I get all of that to go? You prefer to be tired dangerously? <laughs> Let's get... Ugh, a nap. Hey, I want some cheesy poofs too, but I did... I could have bought some at Jerry's. But I am running low on money, which is infinite. I just have to go back and get some more. Magic salt lamp? Forget signs. I'm just going to drive straight to the salt lamp and stop in the middle of the road as I ogle it. Available at Larry's Arcade. All of your wildest dreams would come true if you own this. I do have a lot of tickets. I have like 20, oh. Um, yeah, don't don't worry about what's happening right now. I, I got everything under control. Nice. Sick tricks, Broheim. Okay, we are gonna continue down the UFO. 
And I will probably need to pay money for this, but I will try my best to get in with, uh, with a free entrance via Duck Goose Hoppery. We will rise to the challenge, we will hop with a plum. Oh, I do want to check out what's over there, though. Hmm. No, I already have Sonic Mania plus MK. I have that on Switch, which I do... I feel like I should stream that, because I haven't played it in a while, and that'd be a good incentive. Show off my boy Ray. Well, Mighty, too. It's really crazy that both of them came back. I never thought that would happen. That is insanely cool. What is it like, Jags, having a Himalayan salt lamp? Does it provide much entertainment? Sonic Weekend? I mean, it is the anniversary, so... I'll just, like, play Sonic games 24-7. Now, it does look like the East Islandville is blocked off. I don't think that that's, you know, anywhere... Oh, oh look at the UFO. Oh, so beautiful, so majestic. So the other way. I'm gonna crash! No! Ah! All right. What's the hold up here? I want to get out of town. Don't you know there's a snowstorm coming? Private Emu? More like, wait a minute. Where did you come from? Hold on a second. Did you, did you, did you just see that? That car came out of nowhere. There's a barrier here. Is that did, did a barrier car? That's not, that's not how that works. Okay, well, here's my plan then. If you're gonna create like a barrier for me, I'm going to immediately break it. I'm gonna take my swan goose food and we're gonna just, you know, the smartest move possible in front of both the police and the military, try to jump over. That's right. We are gonna make it to the top. We're not gonna let this barrier stop us. We are gonna go all the way to the next island. Let's go, duck goose food. Hype! To the top, to the top, to the top. Here we go, duck food, duck food, duck food. It's also goose food, too. Doesn't seem to be a barrier here. Oh, Amethyst has a salt lamp, too? How salty does it get, though? How do you... You are the salt lamp? <laughs> Checks, please. It's salt. No, man. <laughs> that went too high. All right. I forgot that the, the barriers are actually pretty good in this game. We're back to Jerry's. Oh boy. I'm gonna warp over there. I need to get my golf cart back. I can't though, hmm. I might just have to ride free. <laughs> oh, you have two of them, Amethyst? Cool. Two magical, amazing, don't worry about the bus. Don't, that, that was a truck. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, chat. Everything is going to be fine. I just have to go uh, grab something. <laughs> There's another MK? <laughs> two salt lamps. But how can there be two when there is one? Shake hands. Okay, we're kind of like, we're back here in the, this area. I'm going to have to get the golf cart again, but that's a bit of a walk. Maybe I should just warp home. That's what I get for trolling. <laughs> I could take the bus, that's right. But I think I need money for it. Bus pass. One bus ticket, please. I have not actually ridden the bus yet. Come along now. Floor. And now we sit and wait. And while we're waiting, let's go ahead and send off Friendly Mole into the next check-in, shall we? Pop. Big poppin'. <laughs> so why are you on the bus today? Oh, you know. I tried to jump over the police and the military using my duck goose box, and uh, it didn't really work out. They worked me back. What? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. What? Ah, <laughs> oh, the bus is late. <laughs> We're going to Glove World? Jax, please. We kind of are. You know, at this point... 
I literally could have just like walked to my house or worked to my house and then gotten the <laughs> gotten the bike and then just left. Or rather, I could have respawned the golf cart. I do have a bus pass. Is there... Oh, I have to wait for it. Okay. Let's just wait here for the bus like a chump. <laughs> this is what I get. I knew that creating another ghost dog would create a rift in the dimensions. That's not a bus. I was gonna say, is that person stopping so we can get on? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Hmm. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't want to get in some random truck. Click to call bus. Click to call bus. Gameplay. <laughs> I was just gonna wait here forever. That is something I would do, though. Like, hmm. Nothing's coming, so maybe if I just keep waiting, something will happen. <laughs> hey, there's the bus. Get on the bus. Get on the bus. This is the first time we've used public transportation. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Let's search a key to ride. Let's get on. Cool. Now what? Next stop, beachfront. Okay, so we have... UFO Point, The Pier, Barry's Pond, Beachfront, Larry's Arcade, Home, and The Mountain. So I guess we should just sit back and enjoy the ride. Look at this lovely tour at night. Somehow it's slightly- oh, Watch out, man! I was gonna say it's less sketchy than a nighttime bus. Oh, watch out, miss! No, no! No, you gotta stop being hit the bus! You hit the person! Oh, no! Clarabelle! I can't believe you just ran over a person. You can't do that. You can't just run over somebody. That's not how this works. Okay. Don't worry, Chad. Everything's fine. We're gonna just take the bus to the beach, I guess. Or, I guess to the... We could just go straight to the UFO point, honestly. It's gonna take a couple of rotations, but it's also taking us home, so I'm like... Oh, wait. We're here. Let's get out. Let's get out of here. I just wanna no, let me just let me out. Let me out. It's all good. Just let I just if I you just let me out here, I could go get my my golf cart. I don't have to go home. I don't have to go home. You don't understand. You don't you don't get it. We're not we don't have to go to the arcade. No, that's all right. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. Well, people are in the street still. Alright, cool. Seriously, at this rate, I could have just gone home. <laughs> But, I mean, if you're taking public transportation, sometimes that's your only method, you know? You gotta just stay on top, gotta take it easy, enjoy the sights, look at the motel, go past, like, the sleazy part of town. We are bussing it, yes. Watch out for the, the gang over there. Watch out for speedy, speedy boys. And maybe, you know, there might be people in the road that might cause a bit of problems. Wait, this isn't literally taking us home home, right? Is our is our house on the bus route? If that <laughs> Okay. I was going to say if it turned up there and went to the house, I was going to be like Yeah, let's not let's not do that and say we didn't. Okay. I could get off and go home, but we might as well take the full loop. Wait a minute. Look at those like 5 FPS knitting tools. That is beautiful. No, don't just drive through the truck! Holy guacamole! That's not how that works. Okay. Well. <laughs> Everybody, if you look to your right, you can wave hi to Ghost Dog as we go by. Hi, Ghost Dog. <laughs> Bark! Oh no! I'm dying! I didn't think the, the bark would play! This freaking game is so good! Look at Ghost Dog, everyone! <laughs> also, notice how nobody has gotten on or off the bus? Gamimama is worried? Yeah, Jags, but we don't have to worry about that in uh, birthday mode. For your birthday, you can do whatever the heck you want. 
get free money from Uncle Phil, have a grand old time. Just drive by these kind of sketchy looking mountains and we'll go to the UFO point. It's going to be great. We are definitely not going to run over. I feel like this is the same road we were just on three times in a row. She made a cake. Well, if she made a cake, then I can't say no to that. But we're, we're now just going in reverse on the bus route. We are going... Gosh, we're going... We're back at Jerry's Gas and Go. Please don't run into a police officer. <laughs> Please, just, just drive the bus in a semi-normal fashion. Just a little bit. Just a, an eensy beansy really small amount, please. Oh no! That car is okay. I think it stopped on time. We might have clipped through it. Don't worry about it. There's the arcade again. We're passing that side. Oh, there's someone back there. Hello. What are you doing over there? Gamimama. <laughs> Gamimama. No, don't hit this fancy car. <laughs> that thing costs like a hundred grand. Okay. We are going to UFO Point. It's going to be amazing. We've been waiting for two weeks to do this for some reason. Could have just gone anytime. But it might be very special. Notice how the lighting is dimming. Notice how dark it's getting as we're heading toward this super duper crazy UFO Point. It's going to be popping and bopping. There's going to be aliens everywhere. There's going to be like a gift shop where I can buy all sorts of stuff I can't afford because I only have 750 left. It's that feeling of when you go, or back back in the day, you'd go to a convention and you'd say, I have like 200 bucks, I'm just gonna buy like two things and then, I don't have any money, where's my money go? <laughs> oh yeah, I spent it all on exclusives. Oh boy. Well here we are at UFO Point, let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh yeah. The moment we've all been waiting for, the UFO Arcade! This is another place? I thought it was just literally a UFO. Okay. Uh, hello there. Hello there, good sir. I, I, I've noticed you stopped dancing as soon as I looked at you. Is there a problem? Is there a problem? We having a problem here, sir? We having a problem? No? Okay. <laughs> Blinded by the UFO. UFO Arcade and Fun Center. Raceway? I'm gonna need a lot more money. Excuse me? What is this? Win official gear here. Popcorn Pete and Friends. Collect all eight collector cards and win an official Pete plush toy plus bonus tickets. You can have all these lovely friends. Um, Chocolate Charlie. Duh. Sally Sam. Bob Burnt Colonel. Bullery Belly, Caramel Claire, 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 Cheesy Chet, and Colonel Connie. Connie, <laughs> Colonel. Okay. That was the sound of children, but that was a man. Well, first things first. Something's going on back here. I gotta check this out. There, there's some some deal is about to happen. I'm a little concerned that I shouldn't be here, but oh. They're, they're like, this kid is on to us. We got to get a move on. You're busted, partner. What do you have to say in your defense? Hey, you better run. <laughs> oh, gosh. What the? Forklift? Hold the phone. I want to get on this. Now, we do have a friendly mole check-in from human. Let me just let me just jump on here real quick. I, get, I, I bet I could make it. If, if this would just... If you could just... Okay. Never mind. We have a friendly mole check-in from Human. Let's see what's going on. How's it going? Human asks, Have you ever spent more than MSRP on a game... Let me try that again. Slowing down my words so I can talk properly. Human asks, Have you ever spent more than MSRP on a game not counting import fees or shipping? If so, what games? Oh, you bet I have, Human. There is a... Uh, as a... Game collector. <laughs> I've spent my fair share of uh, way overpriced stuff. Mighty Number no. Nine. Wow, MK. <laughs> I did spend two hundred eighty-six dollars on the Kickstarter. However, that was a different time. There's no justification. I think what human means is like retail. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I've had to rebuy or things that I was not around for, like um, one of the things you know. There's a lot of stuff that I ended up trading in as a kid. To be able to 
do stuff. And <laughs> Drago, please <laughs> wait. I'm, I'm, I gotta answer this question first. <laughs> yes, deep cuts, Jags. Just the game and not the bonus stuff. I, I know, right? I gotta say, uh, there's, there's quite a few things I've had to rebuy over the years, like um, Super Robot OG Tyson. I think was the full name for the DS. If you remember that game, I had a lot of fun with it. I, I traded it in for a, for some dumb thing as a kid, and. I rebought it finally a couple years ago that was complete and uh, it was it was quite a bit. It wasn't like super crazy prizes. It was around 100 something. Uh, there's there's definitely a lot of stuff that I have spent more than MSRP. If you mean like at retail, not counting import fees or shipping, that's like an anti deal, right? <laughs> it's like hmm. Besides just rebuying stuff or getting things I haven't owned from the past that are rare. I can't think of like um, paying more than retail to get something that's coming out in terms of games. Yeah, Amiibo maybe. <laughs> After importing Amiibo from Amazon Japan, it's maybe slightly less expensive than GameStop exclusives because those are $5 each. <laughs> oh man, the... I can think of quite a few on the top of my head, off the top of my head, or on the top. Oh, you mean if it came out of MSRP 600 and you bought it for like 100 even if it used? I see, okay, yeah. So, counting rebuys, I do have Super Robot Tyson, OG Saga, Endless Frontier, I think. And then, gosh, this is actually, if you'd waited like maybe a year before asking this, I might have caved on Chibi Robo again. <laughs> Because the GameCube prices for Chibi Robo have gone through the roof and it's over 200 bucks now. And I was about to say, I really want to stream it. Because I, I freaking love Chibi Robo. <laughs> and I traded in mine at some point. It got traded in for some reason. I, I was dumb. I don't know. I thought, hey, they're going to put GameCube games on the Wii Virtual Console finally. So... Now it's like 200 bucks, and if I want to get it again, I've been talking about this for a while... I might have to just bite the bullet and pay the full price. If we got the Wii new play control from Japan, that would have been fine, but th that never got brought over. Yeah. No, it wasn't MS Saga. It was um, Endless, you know, like like Endless. Endless Saga, Super Robot Tyson, oh, Endless Frontier, OG Saga stuff. Also, yes, Drago, I've been finding a lot of new stuff in the coin game. Well, since the last stream... We have gone on the bus, and I created another ghost dog. Does that count? Does it? Oh, yeah, you did finally get the Guardian amiibo. Ha, huh, human. <laughs> At least you own it now. That's the best part. 38 bucks isn't a whole lot of a big deal. It was only 20. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other games I've overspent for. Let's see here. It is really just rebuying. That's the thing. Oh! Any, well, you said not counting Japanese imports. Hmm. Hmm. You know, the best part about still talking about this is by the time I do the dormant jowls that Drago did, like, four minutes ago, it's gonna be recharged and I'll come back and he'll just do it again. Like, I'm back, everyone. Hey, it's break time. <laughs> if you do that, I will, I will probably reject it, though. Sorry. Also, yes, Amethyst, Billy Hatcher is something that is in the pipeline. I do own it on GameCube. I need to stop being lazy, and I need to finally test out my Wii to HDMI and my uh, View HD so I can start getting some retro legacy games going. Billy Hatcher is top on the list. I love, love Billy Hatcher. Another colorful Yuji Naka game. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hmm. I can't reject it. The Twitch activities are law. That's not what my stream says. I have a reject button and you get a refund. <laughs> Import fees are like... If you buy a, a game from Amazon Japan, it's usually maybe... What? 1,500, 2,000 yen shipping, depending. I'm, I think I'm going to overspend on Jungarian Story when I finally buy that. Because the Ami Ami one is... Super cheap right now. It's like 15 bucks and I can toss it into my current order. 
Jump Stars DS? Yes, Jags, I have both of those. I have Jump Super and Jump Ultra. Do you remember... I don't know if anyone remembers this. Back in the day where uh, Best Buy used to sell import games for the DS with like a, a little logo on the clamshell of the packaging that said, this is a Japanese... Well, I say, I say clamshell, I mean like the protective security stuff. This is a Japanese exclusive release and it's only in Japanese, so buy at your risk. But they knew it was so popular, they had to stock it. I think they had the Bleach games, too. Well, Bleach was imported. It was like the Jump Stars games. I think one of the One Piece games. I might be wrong, though. I might be wrong. I know, Billy Hatcher's so good. I, I, I need to stop being lazy and set it up. Happy birthday, Digga! It's not my birthday yet, but that is the premise of this game. You almost bought Balan on Prime Day, MK? Well, guess what? It's $20 on Steam! <laughs> <laughs> I think they might- did they sell a Wendon at Best Buy? I have a Wendon and a Wendon too, and One Piece Gigant Battle too, and all sorts of DS Japanese imports, because they're so good. I learned a lot of uh, Katakana from the Jump Stars games and a Wendon. You haven't played them yet, human? Please, you have to play both of Wendon games right now. Two is superior, but uh, the spinners on one are kind of tough. But they're really good. I've just been wandering around the UFO, putting off this dormant gels. Merry Christmas, dig it. Merry Christmas to you, too, Running Chicken, even though it's June. <laughs> Why would you buy it for Steam when you can get the Switch version? Well, the Switch version isn't superior by any means, except for the fact that it has a ticket. That's literally the only reason. It is not- it does not run well on Switch in the slightest. You played EBA? Well then you've played- well, then you know how to play a Wendon and stuff. It's gonna be great. Let me just grab this forklift real quick. No? Alright. You have a digital copy of Odyssey? Oh yeah, didn't you and Seabadge get those early or something? Christmas is in July, you do have a point, human. This UFO reminds you of your home. Well, you know what it reminds me of, Jags? I need to stop putting this off. <laughs> we have a Dormant Jowls from Drago, which means that it is time to take a break. That is right. <laughs> it's been about an hour. I have literally done none of the things I said I was going to do. And it's been an hour already. So, you know, it's, it's a dig a stream. <laughs> I'll be right back in a couple minutes. I'll get some snacks and we'll continue with the coin game. Stay tuned, everyone. Also, let's go ahead and send our friend the moment until next time. Boop.
And we are back. Thank you for the break, Drago. Also, it kind of looks like Dormant Jowls has a bit of a hat going on there. <laughs> this feels like a longer break than usual. It was five minutes. I'm glad it felt longer. It felt good for me, <laughs> but... I don't know if having a longer break is necessarily better or not. Sombrero Jowls? <laughs> Sombrero Jowls! The life of the party. Alright, let's go ahead and send him off until the next break. Let's try that again. Let's go... <laughs> I need to stop talking for 10 seconds. It's almost like I didn't just take a break. Let's go ahead and send Dormant Jowls back into the ground until the next break. Kerplunk! Really gotta emphasize that kerplunk there. <laughs> we should save the game while we're at it. Let's get a save going. Nice. Alright, we're finally here. The UFO Raceway and Fun Center. Let's go inside and check out these out-of-this-world rides. And we're gonna earn ourselves official Popcorn Pete and Friends merchandise. I'm really aiming for Bob Burnt Colonel here. You're inspired by my exploration of the open world? Oh, Drago. Shooks. Gorsh. You gotta be thorough with the open world. You never know what could be lurking around the corner. You never know what sort of stuff could be hiding inside like an entire third arcade with a laser zone! Beer, 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 beer. Holy cow, holy cow. Look at this place. Look at- oh. I didn't realize Bob Burnt Colonel was the Jags of the group. <laughs> hey everybody! You having a race? Oh, that carpet, yeah. Just memories. Comes flooding back to the cheap arcades. But first, I gotta get some money. I spent all my money over the last, like, six hours worth of stream combined. So let's enter the money blower thingy. That's right, it is time to grab all sorts of goodies. Usually you end up getting like 50 bucks from this, I think. <laughs> My likeness! They took it from you, Jags. They stole it. Yes, Drago, I did spend it all on pizza. That is not even a joke. I don't remember if you were there for that. But... <laughs> I literally just bought all that pizza. <laughs> and I did just dump it on the floor. But, you know, it lives on in the freezer now. That's not a problem. Don't worry about it. The floor pizza is the real friends we made along the way. You were there for the stacks of pizza I dropped in the room? Yeah, that was the... That was the floor pizza. $55! Let's get some more money. All this money is from Uncle Phil. It's free. Free real estate. I feel like I could just look at the ground and get more. Like, if I could just grab what's on the ground, I'd be totally cool with that. Not a restroom, <laughs> Jax, please. It is next to the, uh, the, the Doo machine. The D Devo, Devo, Devolver, Digidoo? <laughs> Digeridoo. Look at the door. Oh! Oh! Oh. That is what it says, you're right. Great job, you won $61. Naughty restroom. Don't be doing your business in here. Ugh. Dev devoted do. Gah. Oh, look at the raceway. Look at that. I want to just jump off the side. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Hippity hoppity, a race car's not my property. <laughs> we Sonic Adventure 2 battle now, boys. <laughs> what goes up? It's supposed to come down. That's Sonic Heroes all around. <laughs> oh no, what's what's the what's the song from Sonic Adventure 2 battle when you're doing the racing? Like the da 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 Security! <laughs> Jagger, please, don't call me out. Oh, the frame rate is not happy with what I just did, though. You needed those signs at Macy's? <laughs> it's a little too real. Welcome to the laser zone. Let's get some more money first. I was gonna, like, use the, uh, the duck goose food to get across, but you can just straight up jump onto the track. Like, a, you know, big brain strats. 
big brain strats. Yeah, working retail is just like... Every single thing in the store should have a not a restroom sign on it. Ugh. Gah. Even the restrooms. You see those things? Ugh. I mean, I like the idea that you have all this infinite money, but you do have to go into this big machine and just kind of claw around for 60 bucks. And I'm clicking pretty fast, too. I think, um... I feel like I could do this better. You can't hold down to grab, unfortunately. It true? Sorry, it's a little too real, Honjax. I feel like we need more money. I'm trying to remember what we started off with. Did we start off with, like, 500? 600? I don't remember. But I think we should be good to go after this. You know, 200 bucks should be more than enough to play whatever's in here if... Maybe. That could be a restroom now? Oh no. That is true, Jax. Just because there's a sign, it doesn't mean that people are going to follow it. In fact, some people look at the sign and they say, That sign can't stop me because I can't read. <laughs> Welcome back, Running Chicken. 45 bucks? That wasn't a lot. The money looks a little off. Well, it's it's Uncle Phil's funny money, Jags. It's Uncle Phil's funny money. All right, we have a giant selection of goodies to choose from. Some brand new games and more stuff coming soon. Let's get ourselves a nice uh, devoted do and play some arcade games. It's only a dollar fifty. Come along, little can. We're going on an adventure. I can't jump on you, can I? Wait. Wait, you can do that with every item? Excuse me? Even a tiny can? Oh! Well, I guess I don't just need the, the, the duck goose food. Never mind. <laughs> can you dig it? <laughs> can you can it? Can, can, can you do the can, can? <laughs> Jumping with the can, can. Get you places you're not supposed to go to. Now you're on top of ski ball and most of all, you gotta watch out for the bad times now. <laughs> the, don't mind me just breaking the universe again. I gotta I gotta say that for later. That is a very thoroughly shaken can. Let's play the butterfly catcher. Pardon me. I have actual money, kid. <laughs> How wooed. Here we go. Butterfly catcher is gonna get us all sorts of goodies. Oh. It's gonna get us all sorts of goodies. Oh. It's not gonna get us anything. Reverse psychology didn't work. This seems like one of those rigged machines. Like, you know, it, it's zero tickets. This is the, um... This is the version of the, uh, the ice rink one. The, the pucks. The hockey pucks. That uh, doesn't give you stuff. Never mind. Where did Wormy go? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me, Jags. Wait, is that bait? Is that bait? 70 tickets. Never mind. I guess if you're good enough, you can get some decent stuff from it. Hmm. The machine ain't wormy. The machine at wormy. The machine at wormy. Use your words, Jags. <laughs> oh no, wormy! I get your reference. Don't worry about it, Jags. I, I get it. 100%. However, there are mermaids from space. And that's pretty rad. Let's go all the way. Mermaids from outer space. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was wondering when that was going to happen. <laughs> we have a befuddled wormster from Drago. I'm going to... Gosh. Um, usually, I for PC games, I like turn my mouse and or keyboard upside down. I think for this game, I'll just do my mouse. <laughs> I'm going to have to like move my keyboard out of the way. Please hold. 
Your viewership is very important to us. Oh gosh. Just give me a second. I got this chat. You were baiting. Okay, Jags. I was gonna say. How dare you bait befuddle Wormster <laughs> with a SpongeBob reference? Pioneers just to ride these babies for miles. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, my con <laughs> my mouse is now upside down. That's the right click button. What am I doing here? Oh no! I think I'm just pressing a button actually. Um. What what do I do? Help. Help. <laughs> How do- how- how do- how do I do this? <laughs> it's a- well, I know it's a push thingy, that's the thing, Jags. I want to push the button, but I can't- OH NO! OH NO! <laughs> Clearly I will go sailing no more. <laughs> oh no, I can break it! <laughs> oh, it's the lawnmower glitch all over again. Oh no! <laughs> it's party time! You know, this is actually how my wrists look IRL as I try to play with an upside down mouse. Okay. Let's play. <laughs> Can't just go to another machine! <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> I'm going here now! <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I do it here? What- what is my hand doing? What is- what- why is one hand broken? Oh no. Great zombie impersonation. Thank you, Drago. <laughs> yeah, these are skee-ball hands. I don't know what's going on here. Um, how do I- How do I break it again? I know it's the inventory button, but I can't like- I can't do that on this machine for some reason. Oh gosh. I can't- I can't escape. I can't escape from crossing fate. I somehow accidentally got 80 tickets. Oh jeez. No, please. Please, no more. Why are these tickets green? I can't- I- I wanna grab it. Oh gosh, okay. Just- everything's gonna be fine, Chad. Don't- don't worry. I'm kinda stuck. But, you know what? We're, we've all learned something new today. We've all learned that if you try to play mermaids and s wait, wait, uh, does that mean the machine ate my money? Hmm, I think I might have just lost ten bucks. Curious. Oh gosh, this is. I I just want to put it. I just want to put it in. I still have the plays. Let's go. One hundred eleven credits. Um. Uh oh. Uh, chat. I think. I think I may have, like, permanently broken Mermaids in Space. Um, I'm a little concerned that the Befuddle Wormster has led to the destruction of an actual arcade machine. I can use the other sides, but I think that is permanently gone. That is permanently... Can I... How do I do this? I'm gonna use this machine. Okay, I'm gonna put in, like, five dollars. Now we're going to spin. There we go. <laughs> as long as I don't press the wrong button by mistake. As long... Actually, here's a good question, chat. How did I just break it when I can't do the thing I did last time anymore? Waiting for the final push. It's nothing. Well, I got five tickets. I guess that's something. How, how did I break it? Like... I did the usual, like, accidentally inventory to break the game. Oh, okay. Shoot to the right? I will try to do that. Uh, Hello, Ducky Man. How can I help you? Goodbye, Ducky Man. Has it been five minutes yet? Almost. Soon we- soon we'll return to normalcy. Unfortunately- oh hey, it works now, cool. Alright. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, I'm gonna turn my mouse right side up, and we're gonna send off Befuddle Wormster until the next befuddling. Hmm. I can't believe we- we damaged property for this. 
It is a bit of a ripoff, Running Chicken, but don't worry. That that is how a lot of arcade games in the U.S. are. You just have to overcome the uh, the built-in badness. Well, to be fair, in the coin game, the arcades are pretty fair and generous. <laughs> it looks like a Gary fan. <laughs> Jax, please. <laughs> I've been watching the Gary Hot Tub stream. <laughs> I got my own Gary Ducky. Oh no! Oh no! Oh dear. But yeah, that, that machine did literally rip me off because I accidentally zombie handsed over to the butterflies. Is that a sentence? It's like a real life sentence that I just said right there. Butterfly to the... Zombie to the butterfly machine. I can probably push this 50 off too as well. You gotta admit, these um, these coin games, the ones where they do the little shooty-shooty, are very addicting. It's always fun to watch them go sliding. Yeah, look at the push! Look at it going! Look at all the goodness, you just gotta stick to the right. However, there is a 50 to the left that I want to get. I really want to grab that 50. I'm gonna toss a few this way. Oh, dang, look at these tickets! We also need to get- ooh, bonus time! Let's see what we get. Bonus Wheel of Morality. Turn, turn, turn. Tell us the tokens that we should earn. Oh. I don't know if that that counts as anything. Did I win? <laughs> Are you winning, son? I always like the... I always like these two Jags. The little coin gun machines are really, really entertaining. It's just fun to watch them slide. That is 500 tickets. Oh, I got some bonus ones too. Alright. Interesting. We gotta go find that other machine that has the Popcorn Pete stuff. I think it's over there. 543 total tickets. As the game freezes very quickly to save. Nice. Okay, well, I broke that game very thoroughly, don't worry about that. We do have some ski ball here. There's Clock Tower, the very famous Japanese horror game. I don't know what it's doing in a children's establishment. We have Downabot, pure skill game. Iceberg Bounce. Just toss it. Plasma Ball! Science! Whoa, radical! Amazing! Available in the UFO prize area. Heck yeah. Oh, uh... Yep, that's me. Bet you're wondering how I got in this situation. Well, it all started when I, when I jumped over the boundaries again. Because kids would play it and then think nothing's happening and leave all the tokens close to the edge. That is true, yeah. They're just like, nothing's going on. I might as well leave. My mom says it's time to go get pizza. And then you get all the goodies. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. You are the prize? Jax, please. Hmm. Oh, don't worry, Running Chicken. That is not happening. That is not what is occurring in this scenario in the slightest. That's how the Diggin' Man got banned. <laughs> hey, look at this popcorn peed. I want to get that. I got to go earn it. Sour treats? I gotta have some of these right Im immediately. I'm gonna take them with me. My inventory is full. Hold on, let me just dump some gasoline. You know, just casual things. Uh, don't mind me, uh... Islandville Islander. They just, just got a canteen of gas in the children's establishment. No big deal. Yeah, we'll just eat these, actually. They're taking up space! Popcorn Pete is your cousin. <laughs> hey, it's the Typhoon again. What else we got? We have Wackabot. Popcorn Pete. Hey, kids. One official coins. This is gonna be great. Get all these cards and win a Pete plush toy. Excuse me? Dude. Where's my cow? Win a Kyle Cow plush. Alright. Forget everything else. We're gonna win a Kyle Cow. I want this. 
I don't care if this is rigged. I'm gonna get this cow. Th this is my cow. I am abducting it. Joke's on you, chat. You thought it was the one in front. It was the one in the back. Joke's on me, chat. I couldn't even grab that one. The Typhoon gains are super rigged. Yeah, they do have a counter inside. That is true, Jax. Very true. Hold on as I abduct this Kyle cow immediately, which is also rigged. Wait a minute. Did I just do that first try? Is That's the opposite of rigged. Excuse me? Well, okay. I got myself a nice little Kyle cow. This is when you go and sit down and you're just, um... You go to enjoy your time watching everyone else have fun. You're taking a little break. There's a little sparkle robot. No big deal. That robot's got a banking helmet. I did win Kyle. I, I won it. I did win the cow. That's right. I can't really do much while I'm sitting down. So... What I'm gonna do is, um... I gotta make room in my inventory. I think it's snack time. Let's chow down. So crunchy. Ah, another lovely plush toy to add to the ranks. And this burnt fireworks. Now I have to save Kyle's dad. How many cows am I gonna get, Jags? I don't know how many cows I should get. Wormhole? Oh, it's one of these machines. Oh, yeah. The spinny spinnies. Hold on. I'm actually kind of curious right now. I take my good old patented swan goose food and go up to the top. Is there a little bit of area I can grab onto? No, it, it is not solid. However, I can go this way. Never save Kyle's. Kyle's are the worst to work with. Wow. <laughs> Think about all the people with that name. MK. <laughs> How dare you. Are we doing? Oh yeah, ski ball. Let's go. Let me see if I can find. Oh, well, I seem to be wedged into the equipment. This is awkward. There's the ticket hole. Okay. Oh, we have some straight up amazing ski ball power meters here. I think this is also at the other place, but this is UFO theme, which is much cooler. What about peace control? Peace. Hmm. I don't I don't know either. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna wait. Wait. Did that ski ball just reject me? I've never seen one like roll back the entire way. What is what the Alright, we gotta go max then. Hmm. I don't know if that's taking away from my counter, but that was pretty funny. <laughs> yes, that is that is what it says, MK. That is purely 100% what it says. Legally. Something's telling me that ski ball's not going so hot right now, but... It's all about the fun. It's not, not always about winning. 130 is quite a lot of tickets, though. Alright, that's cool. I seem to be stuck in my crouching animation. I am now free of my crouching animation. Down a bot, pure skill. Well, if skill is required, then heck yeah, I'm gonna do it. Get ready, and go! Now see, the big ones are rigged. Those ones are super rigged. They're super hefty, there's no way you can knock them down. I may be knocking them down, it might look easy, but don't worry about it. I can just spam click, actually. Oh, that's a bonus one. Those look like screaming yetis. No, that is a nose. That's not... That is not a mouth going, Oh! <laughs> that is a nose. They are weighted, that is true, Jags. Very true. Especially in carnivals, you know, actual carnivals where they, they have these setups and they're like... Come win a prize! And, oh, I guess you can't knock it over, Billy. Sorry, you're not getting this toy. That'll show you. You gotta go for the red ones. Ho ho! Ho ho! Ho ho! Ho ho! Is it echoing again? It's like stacking every time I hit the red one. 
It's Olaf? Jags, please. How dare you. <laughs> Climb in there? I will do that, yes. Here's a nice close-up. That is a nose and not a mouth. The mouth is the smiley face. Does he deserve it? Maybe. I keep forgetting we have the rubber band gun. Ooh, the Iceberg Lounge. Look at this. Oh. Oh, we got a bop here, chat. Oh, hold on. We're actually bouncing these around. I, I've never played this before. I, I don't think I'm doing it right. I don't think I want them all to be one point. Or maybe it's locking them in. I don't know. Oh, it is. Yeah, okay. 2084. 104 tickets. Samantha told you. <laughs> Samantha? Is that you, Samantha? Is that you, Beckles? I mean, I don't, like, I don't dislike Olaf. He's, he's pretty good, even though there was that 20-plus minute short that did take forever. Just toss it. Well, simple rules, I'll do it. Seriously, just toss it. Fun skill game. Let's do it. Let's do it. Toss those lemons right in the hole. Oh, almost. Is that you, some ackles? <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, uh, well. I guess you have a point. Hmm. I guess you have a little bit of a point there. <laughs> Olaf might be around here somewhere. I feel like I can get super bonus points by tossing it in that hole in the back. Oh. Okay. That took a while to roll, didn't it? <laughs> it did look like it was going to be a lot cooler, Jags. That's the problem. It looks... It's like... Can I... Can I get the version of the stage that it was going to be... Before they just were like, you can't walk around in the frozen world. That's that's no bueno. We got to make an original story where you go underground or something. You can't make Elsa the villain. You got to get a Heartless. Play the entire movie. That's all you got to do. This looks like a good place to find some ingredients. Gorsh. Alright, we're doing, once again, the Typhoon. It's going to be great. I've always been pretty good at these, even though they are rigged. Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. I got this. I got it at the other place. I can get it here, too. That is a one. And every time the game freaks out <laughs> just by loading, it tries to save it after every single session. Hmm. You're kind of right, Jax. It, it, it did end up being not especially great, huh? Oh, you platinum Kingdom Hearts 3, MK? I almost did. But I I couldn't... I couldn't deal with doing that robot minigame perfectly. It, it just didn't... It was not fun. See, there we go! Jackpot, baby! Woo! <laughs> that robot rushes forward to arrest me. <laughs> oh, we gotta get out of here! <laughs> Grab the tickets and run! Oh, they're swarming! Oh, it's the end for old Digga. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe not this guy. He's a little, a little freaked out. Yeah, I collect all those crabs. Oh, boy. Oh, man. whack a -bot. You didn't like Big Hero 6? I, well, the move... The... The... Game world in Kingdom Hearts 3, I understand. But I had a lot of fun, like, moving around in it, at least. Ooh. We have a friendly mole check-in from Human. A lot of really good questions today. How's it going? Human asks, Do you plan on doing another game challenge? Oh, you know it. I don't really have it finalized yet, though. Maybe put a bunch of games up with different Shovel Strike costs? I did brainstorm that as well. I've seen people, like... 
if you want me to play this game, do this one. If you want to do this one, do that one. If you want me to do this one, do that one. But I feel like that might be a little too confusing. It has to be like, it doesn't have to be like a bad game or a, a weird game. It just has to be something that would be interesting to see as like a challenge. You know what I mean? Shadow the Hedgehog all endings? Jags, please. Why would you say this? Now I'm tempted. <laughs> Well, making Shadow the Hedgehog a challenge would be a good incentive. <laughs> it would be... It would be a good incentive for me to finally get my GameCube stuff working. Sitting on almost 21,000 Shovel Strikes? That is a lot of Shovel Strikes. I, I remember that I think Exotic has like... He's probably in the 50,000s or something by now. He's, he's been around for a very long time. And I need more spendy rewards. Like, I need a Super Duper Ultimate... Just dump out my- just- just cash out. That's what I need. I need a cash out feature. All S ranks? Oh boy. Yeah, let me just go ahead and all S rank Shadow the Hedgehog every ending. Whack him! Gah. You hear that? Miss me! Miss me! Miss <laughs> me! Uh, so the control's a little... A little slow. Don't worry about it. Ah, uh, miss me. Miss me. Nada. Nada. Miss me. Nope. Miss me. Nope. Miss me. Nope. Missed. Nada. Nope. Miss me. Nope. Miss me. Nope. Miss me. Nope. Miss me. Nope. That was okay. That's a pretty decent adaptation of Whack-A-Mole. Sonic 06. I did that as a... I did that as a community challenge, but I put it too high, and then I promised I'd do the silver story to make up for it, and I haven't done that yet, so... Maybe I'll just redo the challenge and no one will remember, like, Hey, he's doing Sonic 06! <laughs> Isn't that funny? He didn't mention that over half a year ago. Alrighty. This is gonna be the big one. This is Popcorn Pete and Friends. We're gonna be getting some official merchandise here. Let's go. We're gonna drop the heck out of all of these. Oh, it's one of these. They try to block your progress. You can't stop me, Popcorn Pete. You can't stop me. You go to sleep, MK? Alright, take care. Yeah, Sonic Colors Ultimate. That is definitely happening. Aw, yeah. This is happening. I need to make it go through the red so it can activate the spin, I think. What do we have? We're getting close to... I forgot all the names already. There's the coal guy. <laughs> burnt, burnt Billy or whatever. Is that really not going in? I do see the popcorn popping. Like, I, I have to get it through... And to get the bonus tokens. Oh, the this this one is especially laggy. Once again, don't worry, chat. If if it seems like it's kind of freaking out a bit, that's just the natural frame rate of the game. No matter how much I change it, it kind of just freaks out. It's all good. Let's get some bonus tokens. The sky with stars so bright, the colors feel so right. I feel like. I really should have paid for that concert. <laughs> that was a really freaking good concert. The Sonic 30th Anniversary Symphony was so good. Like, ridiculously good. I don't know why these aren't going in. I mean... I feel like I'm missing something. What is Popcorn Pete not telling me? I've never felt like this. I'll keep on running. I feel like it definitely has to go in through the, the red part, but it's not really timing up properly. Maybe if I line it up with the center? Yeah, Popcorn Pete and Friends. I'm sorry, I need to clarify that. Also, was that a pair of shades that just appeared out of nowhere? Am I crazy? What was that? Why was there like a pair of glasses that shows up and if I go like back and forth? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's the main character, that's right. Where are my bonus tokens? 
Why... Why does that machine have minus 47 credits? Why does the, the machine to the right count down negative credits as I press in? What is going on? What? Somebody please tell me why there are negative 53 credits. Like, imagine! You go to have a fun time at the arcade, you're just some, some random kid. And after you've had your fill of pizza and fun with friends, you go to play a machine and it's like... Well, howdy, kids! My name's Popcorn Pete! You owe me 62 credits! What, what are you talking about? You better pay up, son! <laughs> Mom! I owe Popcorn Pete money! You're darn tootin', you do! <laughs> hey, kids! Welcome to debt! Popcorn Pete doesn't play for free! <laughs> wow, this is really slow. This is... This is way slower than the, uh, the Dunko game over at the main arcade. Like, this is taking forever. I shouldn't have put in the maximum amount. And it's not even going to the right side, which is the problem. There's only one possible option, and none of these are going into the bonus wheel. Like, if you look closely, there should be a brief moment where there's a bridge that kind of, like, lets you go through in the red. But it doesn't really line up. Like, it, it kind of does, but I feel like the, the natural lag of the game prevents any sort of contact from going through. It's very interesting. I'm not quite sure what's going on. All I know is that the frame rate is freaking out. I have one card out of the eight I need. But we're gonna get that plush toy. Heck yeah. You know it. It's definitely happening. One way or another, we're gonna get Popcorn Pete, we're gonna get the pals, it's all gonna be good. Just think about the bonus plays you could be getting though, if, if it would go through the path. Maybe this is rigged too. Maybe it has to be like a, like a exact perfect way through. Maybe. <laughs> Welcome to debt, kids! I love it. I guess while we're waiting... Let's go ahead and send off Friendly Mole on to the next check-in, shall we? Pop! Something so great about this ridiculous game, I love it. Oh no! Uh-oh, I broke it again. I broke it and my arms. Let's go on the speedway, That's a, this is a good time to get that sonic feeling. Okay, um... I may have knocked over Rubber Ducky Man because my arms are stretched out, don't, don't worry. We're gonna do the Sonic style, you ready, chat? Now that my arms are broken, we're gonna run the entire speedway at 2 FPS. Gotta speed, Keen! <laughs> at least his train is! Uh-oh! Gotta speed up! It doesn't matter now what happens, I will never give up the fight! <laughs> How do I fix my arms? There we go. Let's go back to the machine and get those tickets again. I want to go the laser zone. Think about all the opportunities unfolding. I can't believe what happens. I can't believe it just... your arms just break. Oof. 200 uncounted tickets, that's a lot. And once again, the machine is broken. Let me take my card out. So Popcorn Pete requires all of these, and it just, it's just like... I don't really see a faster way to do this, you know what I mean? I forgot the clock tower, by the way. I mean, it goes in, it's supposed to go through the... the middle here, I guess there there must be some way that it hooks up. Like, it, it just get, gets blocked every time is the problem. Let's not worry about that. Let's play Clock Tower. Watch out for Scissor... Scissor Man, whatever his name was. Winner every time! Turn the wheel left and right to steer. Guide the ball to the bottom to win. Let's do it. Let's take this ball to the bottom. That was almost 500 immediately. I like that. Another! Let's guide the ball to the bottom. Let's make it go to the right. Two balls? Let's go. Let's get this going. I have a strategy. My strategy is just to let it fall here and then tilt it 
downward into the 500. Easy money. Oh yeah. Just tilt it. That was a five. I had it off a little bit. I think if I have it angled here, I can get a 500 every time. Let's try it out. Like if I have it kind of like pointed toward the teeth. That didn't really work out. It was going so naturally too. Let's try that one more time. Like if it if it has enough space to pop down here. No, it's not gonna work. Okay. Well, I guess my strategy is just in shambles now. Let's just readjust accordingly. Oh hey, randomness! Thank you. Five hundred tickets. This is another really good machine. Also, apparently in the UFO arcade you get stuck a lot. Everyone gets really happy. Alright, what's next? We have the wormhole. Just have to launch this down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ten tickets! That was almost a jackpot. Alright, I think what I need to do is line up the um, the jackpot about where it's supposed to drop now. Maybe a little too early, but I guess that was still good. It's kind of like that one other game from the other arcade where if you just click it at the exact time, you'll always get it. There we go! That's not a lot of tickets, but I'll take it. Just keep getting the jackpot over and over. That was a very loud beep. That was not my computer. I apologize that that was really loud to everyone else. That was the game, I swear. Gosh, I mean... Popcorn Pete's kind of boring, but we do need to get his toy. So, like... I guess we can do this one. And just load it out. Just dump it. Just hold down the mouse button, sit here. This side is slightly less laggy. Oh, hey, it actually went in. Cool. What's it gonna get? What sort of bonus goodies could we possibly get? Oh, this must be the one that's not rigged. The other one is totally rigged. Bonus token. Okay, this is much better. The other machine must just be broken. <laughs> the other machine's just... Rude. Whoa. That one just got totally stuck. That's bonkers. I think if I just hold down and get it in every five tries or something. Seven. Let's test out this theory. It's five, six. It's around six or seven. I think as long as I just hold down, we're good. Cool. So we have three of the cards already. We need to get that fourth one somehow, and then the other ones, I don't know where they're gonna come from. So I'll just keep holding down until the bonus tokens happen, I guess. 100 tickets. Look at all that popcorn popping. It's very messy. Incredibly messy. Also, that is not a card I need. I, I need several of the other friends. And that orange one is definitely not coming down. Very rude. Taking forever. Come on, Popcorn Pete. Let's do this. Let's get those tickets. Come on, Popcorn Pete. Thank you for the duplicate, I guess. Golly, I can't believe you're still here. That's crazy. I just need to nudge the machine a tiny bit, and then I'll get the uh, the Cheeto-looking one, like the big puffy. Puffy Doritos flavor, I don't know. <laughs> Again, it's not the most exciting machine, but there's a certain charm to it, and I need to get that orange one that I can't I can't reach like cheesy Chet, was that his name? I do appreciate that he has the um, the TT voice from um, from Diddy Kong Racing. Why did I blank there? No, no, no. Wrong way. 
Bonus plays. Bonus plays. Man, Cheesy Chet is not easy to get in the slightest, is he? Jeez. Waiting for final pop. Well, you know what they say, once you pop, the fun don't stop. Except in this case, I do have to stop because we have a dormant Jowls from Drago. That's right, it has been almost two hours of streaming. My goodness, this, this ridiculous game, I love it so much, it goes by so fast. And we haven't even gone back to do mini golf. We haven't done the laser tag. We haven't done the racing. There is so much stuff to do. But it is definitely time for a break. So I will be right back in a couple minutes. And we will return and probably, ironically, we'll just be doing Popcorn Pete the rest of the night. <laughs> I gotta get that darn plush toy. The collectathon collectible person in me requires it. Also, some coins just fell down. Maybe those count. Stay tuned, everyone. I'll be right back.
And we are back. What a lovely break that was. Thank you once again, Drago. <laughs> Thank you for not doing it immediately after the last one as I joked. <laughs> Wise man, saving your strats for later. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bury it. Jormit Giles. Derp, 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 derp. Boy. I, get, I don't understand how I can get so excited about playing a game and having fun that my words just go kabloo! But there we go! Oh, indeed. Let's go ahead and send off Dormant Jowls. Let's go ahead and ba Gosh darn it! <laughs> you threw off my groove! I'm sorry, but you've thrown off the Emperor's groove. <laughs> Bury Dormant Jowls back into the ground until next time, Kerplunk. Imagine not being able to remember and properly say all of your reward redemption friend character names and their gimmicks and their goodbyes. <laughs> Let's get some more popcorn. I need that orange. Oh yeah, I forgot I broke it. Oh no. The uh, the zombies. I can at least grab my tickets. <laughs> now the other thing I, I forgot is that we still have to go to the fairgrounds, which was what I titled the stream. But then we went to the UFOs instead. <laughs> You know, I can't help it. Sometimes, and when I say sometimes, I mean every time when I'm playing the crane game, the claw game, the coin game, I'm having a stroke live on stream. Somebody please send help. It's very easy to get distracted by all the new stuff in the game and it's like, hey, I can go here. I can go there. I can pick this up. Now I can get a popcorn man. It's great. It is popping. I don't know if I'm gonna, like, keep doing this, though, because it's gonna take so long. I am about to get the orange one, maybe. I have three of the cards. That is not a lot. I still need five. This oogly popcorn soldier. Popcorn Pete requires eight. Count them. All eight cards. I've been trying to get this orange... Cheesy Chet for literally like thirty dollars. Once that falls down, I'll be halfway done. It's a lot more, um, a lot more ridiculous. Oh, there we go. It's a lot more silly than the the Dunko Duck that required only five. This is like hard mode madness, and now I have to get card drops. This is just a gotcha again. So I have four of the friends, and I have to somehow get a card drop, otherwise my life is in shambles. There's no completing the gang unless I get that magical card drop, or I could go back to the other machine. I could break the game again. I found a new tactic. Every time I stream this game, I find a new way to break it. And my new strategy is what I thought was the lawnmower glitch turned out to be inventory wherever glitch and a pausing glitch so technically I could just leave early I go back to the other machine man this is rough is this guy even worth it like look at this like Spongebob ripoff dude that you you know that they have one of these kind of characters in every single fun center in the world you know you know <laughs> Okay. Maybe this one will be the card drop. No. Well, I think that uh, this is overstated. It's welcome. Popcorn Pete, I don't think it's going to happen. These card drops are ridiculous. At least I get a lot of tickets for it, though. It's worth it just for that alone. Let's not do that again. Wait, hold on a second. Is that a new one? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Sure, let's do it again. 
Listen, if you're gonna put a new one in front of me, I'm not gonna say no. That will at least give us an opportunity to get more stuff. For when I need to come back, I'll at least have five of them. That's what matters, right? That's what matters the most in life. Well, if you're gonna give me bonus plays, then I will also take that as well. <laughs> this is how it starts. We're done playing less. Oh, hey, look, another incentive. Let's keep playing. Aren't I saving for the popcorn plush? How much is it? Well, here's the thing, Drago. I need... In order to buy the popcorn Pete plush, you have to have all eight cards. So far, I've spent like $40, maybe even $50 trying to get these cards, and I only have four of them. Well, technically five, but that one's a duplicate. And there is this new purple one here. And if I can just get more card drops, then we can get more cards, and this is just like a, a gaming pyramid scheme. Drago, I'm inviting you to play this game too, so we can both mine all the <laughs> cards so we can get Pete plush toys. <laughs> Look at that popcorn poppin'. How could you say no? How much is this during the Steam Summer Sale? I have a giant, giant cart full of stuff to stream that I've been waiting to buy, including a bunch of digging games. Why not toss this in, too? Not for me, I own it, but you know what I mean. You know, online multiplayer would be amazing. I think that might be a little too out of scope for the game, but it would be amazing. You've put it on your wishlist since I played it? Well, yeah, it's, it's, it sells itself, honestly. It came out so many years ago, I've never heard anyone talk about it. Apparently, it's it became popular at some point, and then it kind of dipped down again. We're going all in, baby. This is just podcast mode. Like, I've seen YouTube videos, I haven't watched them, but I've, I've seen that there's a lot of, uh, you know, popular streamers who played this game. I had to cash in, I had to become popular by getting on the bandwagon from 2019. <laughs> I'm just joking. I think there was like one person that played this and that's it. The other ones are just kinda... The problem with this game is that there's another game called A Coin Game, which is just like... It's like an idling person who just has one of the these types of games going, and you can do exclamation mark stuff to it. Not many people play the coin game these days, as far as I can tell. Again, I've never seen it. I hadn't seen it until, you know, I, I saw uh, there was a deal for it last month, and... I checked out a little bit of footage. I didn't want to be spoiled. I just went in knowing there's a small arcade. You can have a birthday party, that's it. And then now we're here, like... Eight hours worth of streaming later, combined. We keep finding new stuff, there's an actual open world. I did not expect that. There's glitches, there's ghost dog. Not like bad glitches, they're hilarious, you know, like breaking the entire thing. Underrated is indeed the term, Jags. Very... this is a very niche game that you would not know about unless you were delving into everything. Hmm. That is true. Wobbly World does have multiplayer. Jags was streaming that the other day and I watched that. I was with him for it. We kind of agreed that he experienced like all the game, but it would be a fun thing to stream with him anyway. I'm like, do I still buy it? It's only 10% off, but... It was a very funny thing to watch him play. And there weren't a whole lot of people, apparently. Like, there's just... Three people when Jax was playing. <laughs> very interesting people. I'm not sure if those are the kind of people you want to meet in real life, but, you know. It's a, it's a fun, positive, goofy, wobbly game. And there's a couple mini-games. You go around open world. Just don't run into uh, certain individuals. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Hey, I got the purple one. Nice. Jags has his, like, arch rival. <laughs> Very impressive find. Better than Valen Wonderworld. Is such a thing even possible, Drago? 
Let's be real here. That this game is way better than Balan. <laughs> Let's be real. Straight off the bat. No joking. Balan is not a good game. We know that. It is a funny experience and a very charming, but a game, functionally, it is not good. <laughs> yeah, that guy did chase you, Jags. What was that all about? Rude. Personal space be darned, I guess. Alright, well, uh, in order to get Popcorn Pete, we need a few more, and they're not dropping. So, for the sake of the stream, I don't know if you, uh, if everyone's bored of this or not. But I can come back to Popcorn Pete after maybe we've done the boardwalk and some other stuff here. I mean, we straight up have, like, a, you know, racing over here. The UFO Raceway. do 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 UFO da 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 Oh, you're fine with it? Okay, well. I can do a little bit more, but I feel like we should break it. Break up the monotony with a little bit of raceway. Like, look at this guy. My best lap. Well, it turns out I've already maxed this out. Never mind. <laughs> Whoops. Chat accidentally saw that I'm a master of the raceway. I'm kidding. I have not played it yet. Let's go try it out. Or maybe that was when I was running... Like, literally doing the Sonic running is what... They're like, oh, that guy is way too fast. There's no way he could be beaten. Ah. Hello there, Spaceman. How's it going? Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, everybody. Let's not panic. I am a Spaceman now. That is right. Didn't put up a fight. Check out the sweet helmet I got. It's fine. I just jumped into the turnstile. Have I tried the Sonic Minecraft yet? Not yet, Jax. I haven't bought it. We need to do co-op. We need to do like a co-op stream for that. I don't know how that would work or what kind of people would be interested, but that looks really good. A lot of really great references and stuff. I just gotta buy it. I have once again taken the soul of another. <laughs> it's true, Drago. I can't stop myself. So I'm gonna get a jawbreaker. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know how it's going to work. That's a lot of jawbreakers. Watch me eat these, Kopar. Watch me eat these jawbreakers. You ready, chat? No! Uh -uh. <coughs> Just, like, crunch. <coughs> I don't have teeth anymore. <laughs> References are cool, but you're not sure how it works because it's kind of janky. I don't know how multiplayer would function because it's it I've read that it's basically just here's regular Minecraft gameplay but they kind of trick you into having it be first person. Well, it is first person, but they kind of like it's it's not like a brand new game mode thing. It's just like here's the level and you run it. It would be hilarious to stream though. It's third person. Oh, well, that's even more interesting. Five dollar bucks for six laps? I can't afford not to. Dun, da dun, dun, da dun, dun, da dun, dun, da dun, dun. Hey, it's Speedy Pete! Wait, Jerry's in this. He's got a gas station to run. Friggin' Jerry. Slow is fast. No, it's not. I do like these controls though. They're very, they're very good. They're very great. They're very. Uh oh. They're excellent. I'm, I'm not gonna let Jerry win. I'm in last place. That's kind of... That's rude. Okay. So imagine that you're starting a race, right? And the race has already begun and they start you in last place. Rude. Wait, I get a UFO model? I want that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Lakitu, save me. It's third person and there's three levels. Three acts each, but it's basically just collect this many rings and finish the same level. Okay. That's understandable. It's I mean, there's only so much you can implement in vanilla Minecraft, right? There's mods for if you want to make it super duper insane. Also, I don't seem to be catching up with them. Not just because I bonked. Pit crew! Friggin... Get out of here, cart lover. Get out of here. Oh, no. I'm that person, you know, the, the the dude bro that goes to do go-karting with his friends, but he's just a total jerk. 
Like, hey, look at me, Charlie. I'm doing dynamite. <laughs> How did they go into the pit lane? I didn't think that was allowed. You just, like, phase through existence. You think the best part is the skins? There are a lot of really good skins. Like, they have the mecha skins in there. They have, like... Big the Cat, they have Obscure stuff, they got my boy Mighty, they got Ray. They have Chaos. We have to wear Chaos. We must buy Minecraft Sonic for Chaos. How'd I get in third? Where where's everyone else? Where's my nitro button? I need to I need to use nitro to speed up. I'm still in sixth, by the way. That's I, that's the lab. That's not the position. I was just just joking. It was a joke. Each skin has a different power? Oh, yeah, because, you know, Knuckles can glide and Tails can fly and Sonic can just run. That's that's it. The Digga Dynamite is what they'd say? Drago, please. Minecraft Sonic is not a mod. It's an official $8, technically $7.99 pack you can get. Also, quick question while I'm pontificating here. How come I'm passing people, but still in 6th place? Explain that to me, chat. Explain how this is not rigged. Popcorn Pete is doing his best to foil my every attempt to have fun. It's like... It's like those families that go to Disneyland. Even though, you know, they're having a bad day. Third? How do you get to third? I guess the official ticker just didn't work until I got further in? I don't... I don't fully understand. But, you know what? Sure. I guess technically it is a mod, but like an official mod. I don't know. Third place ain't bad. I started a seventh lap. The race started when I walked in and I'm late? Oh boy, yeah. That is true. Way to go, Digga. We love you. You're the champ. Oh, that's so sweet, even though I'm third place, and I lost to Pete's. Pete's by Prey. So what I was trying to say is, it's, it's like like those families that go to Disneyland when they're not having a good day, and they're like... Oh, my, my squad left me. Yeah, not for long, though, Jags. I did not have fans for very long. <laughs> they just left. It's like when they go to, to Disneyland or a theme park or anything, and you, you bring your kids along and they're like, Oh, I'm not having a good day, but I'm going to go anyway, whatever, Trevor, stop being a big old jerk. What the? I can kind of get stuck on the, the side over there. Sorry, uh, chrysanthemums. Out of the way. Wait a minute, is that a third place trophy? Ahem. <clears throat> Let's celebrate first. Crouch to spawn a new one. Nice. Litter the track. Yeet! Is that a third place trophy? Wow, we are getting all sorts of stuff to decorate. <laughs> you know what they say. Once you've finished a delicious drink, you gotta spawn another one and then go yeet. Drink it, crouch. There's the actual model, and then... Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna run into that later on, probably. Collect second and first place now? Alright, I'll do my best. Dude. 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 Starting in sixth place, we are going to have to beat Cart Crazy, Rustbot, Doug, and Backroads Betty, and whoever that first place one was. I don't think I'm getting first right now, actually. Cool, just warp me to the front, I guess. Who is that? I can't lose to Betty. These turns are very, very particular. Also, that person just spawned back at the start. That was totally uncool once again. I don't know how these positions work. I'm going to try to get first place. I heard a cuckoo. Is that a power-up? Sparky! Can't lose to Sparky. I think as long as I correct really fast, uh, we should be mostly good to go. If anyone can figure out how this is being judged, please let me know, because I I cannot tell for the life of me how I'm supposed to be passing these people or what's going on. Also, it doesn't help when the game, you know, kind of freaks out for a bit there. Don't worry about that. Oh, hey! 
Let's pass him. Let's pass him. I don't care. Just just go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. I'm still in last, but it's, I'm still better than Rustbot, maybe. It, like, kicks in at the last lap. They're like, okay, the official standings are... This person is doing okay. This person is doing fine. It's like a Sonic game, since we're talking about Sonic. You don't want to go fast endlessly. Going fast is a reward for being good. You want to slow down and take the turns. Boop boop. You gotta watch out for the cacti. I feel like I've passed at least four people, and I'm still in last place. I am getting the hang of it, though. I'm not gonna crash again. I will probably crash again. My hands will just... Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> oh, no! No, correct! Oh, no! <laughs> Don't you worry, chat. I'm gonna overtake these fools. On your left. On your left. Don't bonk me. No bonking. No! Get out of town! No bonking! There's my can! Oh, my can got in the way. Oh, no. It's phasmophobia all over again. My can is just causing all sorts of problems. That's a deep cut reference from last year. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm winning or not. Okay, we're on the final lap almost. Am I am I anywhere near first? No. Mad Max Wormy Road? Oh no. <laughs> I think I would literally burst into flames if I got befuddled wormstered right now. Please. Don't make me turn my keyboard upside down. You don't want that to happen. I would probably just do my mouse, though, and that would be even worse. Okay, well, um... That is, um... I think it's just time-related, honestly. It's not place-wise. You just have to go fast. As long as I don't crash, I think I can get up there. I gotta beat Betty. I gotta get good. I need to go speed. We haven't gone to the... <laughs> we're, we're still in the UFO! <laughs> we haven't gone to the fairgrounds yet. Race over. Congratulations, you're not even worth celebrating. They just leave you in the cart. Think about what you've done. Look at these actual champions. Can I just take this? Hippity hoppity, your trophy's now my property. Uh oh. I may have gotten stuck behind the signpost. Don't worry about it, chat. Don't worry about it. Alright. So, I, I somehow did, like, worse? Just barely. Hmm. So now that I know it's not beating the people, it's just going fast. That does become a problem because, also, they get in the way, and if I bonk once, it's over. Let's do it, though. I want to be the best driver. I want to drive the very best like no one ever drove. I'm gonna beat C4PO, Backroads Betty, and Rusty Dog. C4PO? That's a little bit on the nose. Just a little bit. Slightly. Just a, you know, a modicum of maybe that's a little bit in legal grounds. Oh gosh, I gotta slow down. Okay, cool. Let's do this. I am fully prepared to win. I'm gonna watch out for uh, Rustbot here, who's gonna bonk me to the side. I'm not gonna even get phased by it, not even slightly. I have the muscle memory going. I'm not gonna let these people, these robots, get in my way of victory. They're bonking. They're trying their best, but it's not working out, is it? That's right. Because I'm gonna be the one going fast. Me. I got the zoomies in my heart. I got the speedies in my soul. I'm beating Edward Bot. I think now I'm on a roll. Just don't get greedy. Just be calm. Everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Speed. I am speed. My left hand is starting to get a little bothered by this, though. <laughs> Just a little bit. You can do, like, hours of destiny, but... Nope. Well, that was a long time ago. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Are you guys, are you guys okay? What the heck is going on here? Get out of my way! Ain't I a stinker? It's Bugs Bunny in the Animal Crossing villager. Gee, thanks. I really needed you to ruin my record. Get out of town. 
Nothing but trash talk. See, if you're gonna do a time trial, you can't have bumper cars. You can't have these people in the way. I can't... I gotta go. I gotta go fast. They're in my way. Like, if... Here, here's the thing. You gotta choose. This is either a time trial race or an actual race, and... Go-karts cannot do both while there's other people on the track. You know what I mean? You gotta, like... You gotta pick which battle you're gonna do. How did I get third place, by the way? I don't know how I did that. I did, like, perfect turns, and now I can't do that anymore. Especially with this person. Get out of the way, Betty! Please! Please, I gotta go fast. You don't understand. The fate of my room depends on it. Yeah, get dunked on. What goes up must come down. I can't believe I'm gonna lose to Rusty Dog. The, uh, the Chris Savor game, I think, right? Did that ever come out, Rusty Pup? I think that came out on, like, mobile or something. It always looked interesting. Oh, that's, that's the end of my story. Thanks, PCs. Thank you very much for ruining my perfect record. I <laughs> guess I'm gonna get salty now. I'm not, it's fine. I'm, I'm happy with third place. I don't know how you're supposed to do better than third in that race because the AI gets in your way. If anyone can tell me, please, please tell me. I think we're gonna have to just leave it there though. Let's move on. Let's go to laser tag. Pardon me, Viking, sir. Actually, I wonder if there's any new cards down there. Let me just kind of hop into the side here and check. No big deal. Anything else, Popcorn Pete? Nope. Okay. Maybe if I leave the area and come back, more cards will spawn. 200cc is too intense. Drago, please. It's a little too real. Also, there's all these charging stations, and I don't know what they're for. Like, I don't have charging stuff besides my phone, which I guess needs D batteries. Welcome to Laser Zone. Five dollars, one session. Oh, here we go. We doom now. Doom. See ya! Alright, we have a battle going on. What's the goal here? Oh, we have very limited shots. I'll just kind of casually stay back. No big deal. Just take out the entire team myself, as per usual, like in Splatoon. Did I win? What are you guys doing? Gosh, it's like... I've gotta do all the work around here again. Every single time. I think I got shot? Who shot me? Yeah, Drago, the entire thing is an is a full-on minigame. Can you believe it? Everything is just there's so many surprises in this game. You can just keep playing it. Oh no, I'm all out. Now what do I do? Do I just stand around like a goofus? How do I recharge? Recharge here. Okay. Alright. Things are happening. It's really happening now. I'm gonna get this bunny. It is gonna be the end for this person. Literally the end. Oh, you're on my team. You're all on my team. Pardon me. You can't body block like that. That's cheating. Mom, the bunny man's cheating. I call shenanigans. Gosh, I don't understand what's going on, Mom. I'm just gonna go into enemy territory. This is a very smart move. Big brain. Galaxy brain strats. Just shoot through the wall, no big deal. Oh, this is so pro. Look at these skills. Look at these strats. Unparalleled. Oh no, I'm out of time. No, just wait. I gotta get one more shot. Game over. Game over. It's never over. That was really cool. There's legitimately... Hold on a second. 
Can I clip into the laser zone? Hold on. There is legitimately an actual mini laser tag game going on here. You know what I gotta do? I gotta try to see if I can clip in. Let me get let me get my tickets before they kick me out first. I wanna go to the laser zone! Woo! My uh oh. My duck goose food got stuck. That's not a good time. Alright, let's go. Straight to the top. There's gotta be a place where I can get in. Oh, well, I guess this is good too, right? Chat, should I jump into the fan? Do you think do you think that's okay? I think it's gonna be fine. Yeah, no problems at all. Everything is a-okay. I want to clip in there so bad. I don't know why. There's no point to it. There's literally no point to clipping in there, but there's the, the me in me that tells me to do these dumb things wants to go inside normally in a way you shouldn't be able to. <laughs> Instructions unclear, stuck in fan. It's too real, Jags. It's too real. Where, where's my Doug Goose food? Come on. Come on, little guy. We're going on a big adventure. There's something over to the right here. There's like an awning that goes... Oh, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, this is the maintenance exit for when you get stuck. Okay. It means you can also go on the track. I have an idea, actually. Can I... Can I get all of these cars out of commission? Can I just, like, stop them? Know what I mean? Let me just slide on this cart real quick. Is there a way I can bump these fools so I can just do my race in peace? Here's my plan. I'm gonna use this to, like, knock them off. It's not working. They are very strong. Get back here, you. Get back here. I'm gonna get you. Deja vu! I've just been in this place before. Clipping through the wall. Uh-oh. This is my race. I need, like, sabotage. <laughs> Little Larry! How do we get these fools out of the way? Homie bot? Cart lover? Backroads Betty? There's a lot of different prizes to win, too. I should probably be getting some redemptions while I'm at it. Uh, I like laser tag. I don't know if I should do it again, though. We have a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff to do. I need to get more money also. Oh no. Oh no. I'm back here again. It's fine. I think we'll come back to, to do more racing later on then. Is there anything else I didn't play here? I don't know. Let's check the prizes. There's Popcorn Pete. Oh, he's just tempting me. He's trolling me. Lightsabers? Okay. Alright, hold the phone. Lightsabers and the hover. Oh, moon rock hoverable. Okay, all right. Well, I know where we're getting all our prizes from, and a star, and definitely the uh, the A A G G exit price. Yeah, that's the one. Ooh, a little back area here. Check this out. There's a radio. There's a go-kart, some maintenance, and a shell. Let's redeem our tickets, see how much we have now. Oh yeah! We've been walking around with those for two weeks? 12,000 tickets, what can we buy? Hello. We have a bag of stardust boring. An alien plush green. Where's Word? Somebody, somebody send this to Word. <laughs> if this isn't gonna get him to buy the coin game, I don't know what will. There's two of them! Look at that! Green and, uh, pink? Blue? Pink? A pet moon rock. Star plush lucky. Star plush twinkles. Saturn plush. UFO toy model. La lava lamp. Lava lamp! Fun capacitor. What does that say? Not enough tickets for the hoverboard. That's a lot of tickets. That is a hundred thousand. 
And there's two of them, too. I can get the light sword, though. What do you think, chat? This is probably the... These are probably the best rewards from all the arcades. Should we get something now? I'm thinking maybe we at least get a plasma ball or a lava lamp, but the toy model is really calling to me. I don't know. Maybe we'll just come back. Whew. Well, that was fun. Let's get some more money, and then we can head over to the... What else? Not a restroom. Let's get some more money, and then we can head over to the fairgrounds and try out some of the rides there. Ugh, and the lights are yellow, too. Ugh. Ugh. Sucked in. I wonder what these actually say on them. They, they kind of do look a bit strangely bent, like they're made out of cabbage. Slightly crinkled. Maybe deep fried? Toasted? I don't know. We can probably grab some more stuff over on the boardwalk. Let me go say hi to Ghost Dog. Great job! $53! What's down here? It says, the United Games of Coins, $1. In coins we trust? In money we trust? Something? Anyway, that was the arcade, the UFO arcade. Goey Bears. Goey Bears. So that was the UFO arcade. That was a lot of fun. But it's time to move on to another location. Oh, it's nighttime, too. I did take the bus here, so... I think I'm going to have to just hoof it. I could take the bus again, but... Uh, there's also the... If I go all the way back and to the right, I can get my, <laughs> my golf cart again. <laughs> hmm. Actually, what I want to do... While I'm here... I gotta try to jump up on top of the arcade... I want to see what's up here. That's right. Up to the top of the building. What can I see? Are there aliens involved? No siree. But gosh, that looks beautiful. What a very serene area. A lot of shenanigans going on. Watch out, ma'am. Uh-oh. There's rocks that pop in. There's... Boop. Boop. <laughs> Popping rocks. There's a nice mountain range. There's, a... There's some sort of building up there. I do need to go back in the water and see if I can use the infinite jump to get onto the mountain range and see if there's a new building coming in the future. There's a power line. Not too much else. I did almost make it over that barrier. That was very true. Hmm. Gosh, that was a lot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Damaging. Hmm. Maybe I can go through the water and try to jump over there. Who that Jags? What you talking about? What you talking about? I have to, at minimum, go get my golf cart. I feel like I can jump over from the side. I can't tell if that fire is my golf cart smoking, or if that's the, uh, the people guarding the bridge. Oh gosh, the dark water. It's not a fun time down there, is it? But I think I have an idea. I think if I approach this from the side... I can break the boundaries of time and space. Let's look at the map real quick. So, that spot right there, you are not supposed to be able to go over. And something's telling me... In my gamer brain... No. Something's telling me that we're gonna be able to... Make that leap... We're going to be able to hop over, maybe some gas tank magic. I couldn't get over from the front, but maybe from the side. Let's bring one of these uh, swan goose foods, our patented good friends. Let me see if I can... Oh. Oh. I, uh... Oh, I, I didn't realize I could just do that immediately. Okay. Well, you learn something new every day. Let's see if we can take this off to the side. 
Maybe I should do this during the day, but, you know, whatever. No problem. Oh, uh, we gotta go this direction. That's right. I can't really see where I'm going, but I kind of just have to hope that it's there. Ah, there we go. It's the light at the end. It's the golf cart of the dreams. The magic of this life. You kind of get a little glimpse of it, then you start sinking down a bit further. Let's just keep hopping. This might just take us to the bridge, honestly. I don't know if we can break the boundary. Oh, here's the boundary. Okay. This might just pop us to the top, if we're lucky. Very unorthodox, but... Yeah, that's right. We're just climbing the side casually. No big deal. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah! <laughs> we made it! Congratulations! We made it to the other side. Also, there's another car, a truck even, coming out of the barricade. I'm sensing a little bit of uh, selective allowances here. Check this out. What the? Did you see that? Okay, apparently these cars do a sick, like, nope. You just turn right around. Woo! <laughs> what the heck? What? <laughs> Excuse me? Alright, I guess I just come down to the barricade to do wheelies. Just... Hello, officer. Goodbye, officer. Hello. Goodbye. Cool. I'm going to use this food to try to break through again. Oh, I can actually hold it with the uh, flashlight. I didn't realize that. Wow, this game actually does have really good barriers, though. That's the problem. Um, maybe don't instigate. I don't know if that's a smart move. I just want to see what's beyond the horizon, you know what I mean? I want to go beyond plus ultra. I want to be able to make it through whatever terrain lies beyond in the distance. Okay. I do like that you can do this while holding the flashlight, so you just, you just keep bonking for eternity. Well, we finally got the golf cart back, despite your instructions. And by your, I mean me. Ramming speed. Let's go! Let's not! <laughs> Let's not and say we didn't. Alright. Next stop is... Where should we go, chat? Do we want to go to the mountain range? Well, we should probably do that last. It's kind of boring. I think we should just go straight to the uh, theme park. Which I believe is to the upright? It might just be straight over there, yeah. What I could do... No, the pier is that direction. Alright. We're going to the pier. The pier fairgrounds is also near the wilderness stuff, so we'll just make a nice left here in our lovely golf cart, having a grand old time. You know, just YOLO lefts. Don't even look. Don't even bother. I like that we're just now going back to the UFO. <laughs> we were just there. Gah! I keep forgetting, don't drive on the right side of the road. You gotta drive on the left side so you don't get bonked. There's so much wilderness to explore though. I'm very curious. What lies within the darkness? What lurks below? I kinda wanna drive through the mountains. I kinda wanna go in there. Also, let's move out of the way of this truck. That's a big boy truck. It may look a little empty. That's another car. Imagine, you're just driving, and you see a go-kart. Imagine, you're also driving. And you see a golf cart. Imagine, there are too many cars on this road. Rude. Alright, here we are, once again, back at the UFOs. We're not gonna do that, though. We're just gonna casually, uh, excuse, pardon me. Wow, you are a very, very sturdy individual. 
We're going to curve around, go the other way, and we're going to go to the fairgrounds and have a grand old time. Just take this curb very slowly. There it is. You can see, chat, over there, to the side, is the fairgrounds. Let's go. I don't know how we missed it this entire time. Well, not missed it. We avoided it somehow. I think I teleported there by mistake during the first stream. But we're going to go to the fairgrounds, and it's going to be a fun time. Unfortunately, it's not going to be dark, but I guess that's fine. It is quite a ride, to say the least. Look at that wilderness. There's so much stuff in there. Who knows? Maybe Bigfoot. Maybe there might actually be a Bigfoot inside. Who knows? The bus is coming at a rapid rate, though. I'm a little concerned that we're going to get hit. Well, let's not worry about that right now. Let's go over this very, very tiny quote-unquote bridge. There's just guards. Okay, the bus stopped. We're good. It did kind of just stop. But I do hear something coming. What the? Hey, get out of the road. Forget about it. Ferris wheel? Heck yeah, here we are. There's someone behind me, isn't there? Oh, it's getting a little bumpy, though. Ice cold. Oh, alcohol. There's no alcohol in the Digga stream. <laughs> I mean, there is, but not drinking. But in this game, apparently. Let's get out here first. Don't worry about it. Here we are, big pond. I'm just kidding. We're at the Ferris wheel, merry-go-round magic place. We are finally here. Bumper cars galore. Fun times in store at the Island Time Amusements. That's right, we have made it to the fairgrounds. So oh, there's a truck coming. Hmm. Don't worry about that. Ooh, we got a bop here. Welcome to the Island Time Amusements Fairgrounds. There's a pirate ship too. But I'm curious about what lies beyond in the rust and the darkness. That's the mountains. Let's not worry about that now. Here we are at the Island Time Amusements. Let's get a ticket. Let's have fun. Purchase ride passes here. How much is it going to be? Not your prize here, sir. Island Time Amusements, we have the 8-pack ride passes and the 25-mega-pack ride passes. No returns on ride passes, even if you vomit on your sister. Oh, don't do that. Let's get the Mega Pass. Nice. Let's go ride some stuff. Here's a nice first ride. The dressing rooms. No, that's just gasoline. Okay. There is a money machine here as well, as is placed everywhere. The coin dozer. Not a scam. Well, if it's not a scam, I can't say no. 20 coins for $5. How do we play? Don't mind the broker Remember, ones. Oh, it's another pusher. Cool. This one is very slow. Ridiculously slow. I want to get prize credits. Oh, hey, another Swiss Army knife. Those I haven't seen those since the first arcade. Wow, this one's pretty slow, too. When you get a coin machine, you usually expect it to be like, ka -chunk! Done. Super fast, but I guess not. Imagine going down to the fairgrounds, seeing all the cool rides, and then like, I'm gonna do the coin pusher, finally. I've been doing it all day, but I'll do another coin pusher. <laughs> I literally just went to the coin pusher instead of going all the other rides. It's great. This three is also very stubborn. Very, very stubborn. Let's toss a few over here. Sometimes it's the uh, the last ditch effort one that gets it to push all the way down. Please don't hit machines. You can't stop me. Oh, what's this one? That one's pretty empty. Yeah, those ones are broken. That's straight up just broken. Ooh, look at the hammer time. I want that. Step right up. Step right up. Get a giant crayon. That sounds fun. There's your tokens.
I was gonna say, I thought the uh, pusher was broken. Oh, there's a lighter. There we go. Three game credits. That means we can work on the rest of these. I should probably wait until the very far back, like a smart person. How you doing over there, sir? Having a good time? I'm just a kid! Okay. Pardon me. Alright, we're getting those pushes in. Let's do it. Just gotta slowly wait it out. I do love that when you knock one of those prizes in, you get like... $2.50. Oh, that is right on the edge. Oh my goodness. Hey, it went in! Let's go! Pick a prize. Oh, chat, what do we pick? Um... Plush fish pink, that has to be it, right? Winner, 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 winner. Winner, 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 winner. <laughs> and we gotta get that hammer time as well. Ooh, great choice. Got one of those in my trailer just like it. Gah. Don't ever say that again. Uh, we don't actually have them. I don't know where they went. Did they just go home? Um, that's interesting. I think I just got ripped off, Chad. I think it just took my prizes. Alright, let's go on some rides, shall we? Straight on the do not enter sign. That's right. Like any good person, I'm gonna go straight in. Not even gonna pay for it. Just jump right on. Woo! Woo! Woo. Woo. Everyone's just judging. They're just like... What are you doing? Oh, oh gosh. Uh-oh. This is my penance. This is what I get for robbery. <laughs> oh no. I'm like legitimately stuck now. This is what happens when you try to cheat the system. This is why you should always pay for things, people. Don't, don't cheat it. However, I do have a gas tank and that is usually the key to escaping. There we go. Let's try that properly this time. Or what I could do is go on the spinny ferris wheel thingy. Don't pass the barriers! Oh, there's actually way too much stuff to do here. Uh-oh. Play some lotto! Let's go to the other side. Customer service is out of order. I don't know how that's possible, but I guess that can happen. Sometimes people just need a break. Island time. Customer service. Your satisfaction is guaranteed when we feel like it. Enjoy your stay here at island time. When you're on the island, you've got the time. Let's do some rides. Ooh, listen to that hopping and bopping tune. I love that. It was the Revenge of Ghost Dog. You're right, Jags. No ghostly deed goes unpunished. Alright, let's use our ride passes. First off, we're gonna go on the nice, uh, wheelie bird. I forgot the proper name for this. It's, you know, the, the chair that you get on it and then it spins you all the way out. I can see my house from here! No, you can't, kid. Yeah, can we? It's a very relaxing ride. Very tame. Oh, getting a little dizzy, though. Oh. Uh-oh. Motion sickness. If I just press E now, will it fling me? That's a little concerning. I might get flung. There is great potential that I, I may be... As soon as I press E, it will fling me into the, the lake over yonder. Oh, we gotta get our passes worth, right, chat? Let's take a look around while we're flying. We have the sun. We have the pirate swing, the drop -o We have the cool music sound thingy. Okay, I, I think we've gotten our fill. <laughs> Exiting the ride now. Oh. 
just dump me out here. I mean, I can stay on it, I guess. Ow. Right in my face, how dare you. You'll notice that the platform is spinning, and uh, I seem to be stationary. That is one of the prime skills here in the coin game. Defiance of gravity. Also, that child has a hoverboard. Or, d defying the laws of physics is more like it. We'll just squeeze by that way, no big deal. I think we'll save the, the spinning one for last. Or the, the pirate boat. Ooh. Oh, listen to that inspirational music, chat. You, too, can own the safe. You can feel safe in the safe. Are you okay, minion? You seem to be sunburned. Well, after a big ride like that, I say we get some ice-cold lemonade. Whew. Hello there, good sir. I would like to procure some freshly squeezed lemonade, please. Hey, if it isn't Uncle Phil's little one. It's just Rolf. <laughs> I'll take it. Come with me, Lemonade. We shall go on a journey together. Through thick and thin, we will make it through these trials. Hey everybody, it's your host here, 1045. The host is with the most is Island Bill. Carnival heading on downtown in the Pier Park. Watch you go on down there. We got free parking, we got free nothing really. Everything costs a bunch of money, but it's a good time. Watch you head on down there, bring fans. I can't believe this talking lemonade just showed me what was what. Hey, come on down, have some fun. Alrighty. Oh, there's even a wastebasket here. Can I go inside? I don't think you understand how much I want to go inside this trash can. I want to I want to be in here. Good. Yeah, there we go. I've become one with the um what was the dew called? I don't remember. Do, do, do! Let's drink this floor lemonade. Nice. What's next in our lovely adventure here? We got bumper cars. Let's play bumper cars, everyone. Let's toss in a ride pass and have a great time. I'm gonna bump the heck out of everybody. That sounds weird. Let's get them. Bam! <laughs> uh, wow, okay. Someone's a little wibbly wobbly. Oh gosh! Oh jeez! Um... A little sensitive there, huh? It doesn't seem like anyone else- Oh, they're all wobbly, okay. Is there some sort of, like, big crash we can do that just, like, pushes them off the side? Uh-oh. You don't want to be stuck by the speakers, that's not a good place to be. Where's bumper boats? I want to play bumper boats. Oh, this is really good. When was the last time you ever played bumper cars? I've played bumper cars in like... I don't know how many years it's been, but... Here we are. Live on stream. Pretty good physics, too. Are we gonna go to the alcohol place? The Digga stream does not condone alcohol. But maybe there's alternatives inside. And then just like that, it immediately ends. <laughs> Wait, you can't just leave me here. Uh-oh. Oh, they're all coming for me now. I gotta watch my back. Can I just get in the car? I don't think Bumper Cars even starts again until I leave. Yeah, I can just walk back on. It's like, uh, you know, that co-op bumper cars, when you can have two people in it. Okay, let's get some more bumping action going on. I have brought the best bumping stuff, a used box of fireworks. Let's bump these cars out of existence. I can't tell if this is working or not. Does anyone know if this is working? I think it's kind of working. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. I feel sorry for these... Innocent drivers. This, I, I'm just causing complete chaos. I'm looking for the root beer jags. I'm looking for like the, the non-alcoholic stuff. That's what I want. No matter how buttery. 
Ooh, the clock's ticking, you say. Well, then. Dunk. I am the prize. Me. I got a one in me. Here I am, just, just some dude walking on the mesh. Imagine that. Well, we got a basketball shot. Let's try it out. Nothing but a net. Oh. That was too weak. Nothing but a net. Oh, that was too high. Nothing but a net. Oh, that was too far to the right. I just have to aim it slightly to the left below the A and I'm good. I want to win that win big sign. Get it over to the left a little bit. And then down. With the power of the A. Let's go. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, hold the freaking phone. Is that pushing? I'm sorry, has Pusheen been to the right the whole time? Okay, we are not leaving. I'm not ending this stream. I'm not stopping anything until I get a Pusheen. There is a Pusheen to the side. Somebody tell Bunny. Somebody tell Bunny. You can get Pusheen in this game. Tell Win. Tell everyone. Tell Jen. There is a Pusheen that you can win in the coin game. I don't know the legalities of it, but I'm going to win one. You know that I need that pushing adorned in my room immediately. There is nothing else in this game that matters until I win a pushing. Look at that beautiful, beautiful kitty cat. Let's do it. A little bit higher. Pushing to the side, snick on the other side. That's right, Jags. I can't believe pushing was here the whole time. I gotta take a picture of this. Gotta take a screeny, screeny shot of Reno. One in wins, major prize. Come on down. Nice. Three shots, five bucks. Probably save too. One in wins, major prize. Come on down. I gotta get that push in. I could have ordered one on Amazon, but I've spent like fifteen dollars already. It's part of the fair experience, you know what I mean? If you don't win it there, did you truly go to the fair? All right, if I max this out, I think it, it might just have to be super low, like right here. Really? That's weird. It feels like the physics is changing. Physics are changing. If I max it out and I toss it, the lower I go, it seems to be going slightly higher. I know what I gotta do, spend more money. What if I, like, get it into the other one? Oh, that's the one! Okay. I need to have it slightly lower on the rim. Keep it all the way to the left. Oh, that was so close! That was legitimately, literally right there. I think if I let go at the last moment, I should be able to make this in. Oh my gosh, that is really close. I gotta get a pushing. I gotta get a pushing. Listen, if you're gonna give me a pushing in any game, I have to get it immediately, full stop. Can I just buy it? Can I just like. Can I purchase pushing? Okay, that physics felt weird too. Is it break time? Well, the last break I took was an hour ago, so you can be the judge of that, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna be trying to get this pushing. Wait, did I do it? Did that count? That did not go in. That, wait, that. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna complain. Let's go. Nice shoot. Here you go. Now here's the thing. In order to celebrate, what I need to do is uh. Legal rims, I promise. <laughs> legal rims. Let me just show this real quick. So. It's not part of my It's not part of my inventory. I'm assuming maybe it's at home or do I have to go pick it up somewhere? I don't know. I should move away from this guy so he's just not talking during break. 
<laughs> oh no, he's coming closer. Ho, oh, you're approaching me. Okay. Well, yes, I know, Jax. I, I had to move out of the way, but he, he still came over. <laughs> I gotta take a break, but he's just like... He's still gonna be peddling his wares. Alright. Alright, we have a dormant Jowls from Human. It has been an hour since the last break. This guy is gonna be talking the entire time, but don't worry about it, chat. I'm sure that you'll come to know Carnival Man very well over the next five minutes. Stay tuned, everyone. I will be right back. Three shots, five bucks. Three shots, five bucks. Major prize, come on down. 104.5 The Goose. 